Uh, magic, how you feeling, man? Um, not bad, guys. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Um, uh, you know, things are okay. Uh, Can't complain. I'm back to nah. that one. Nah, 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 you, nah. Let me. you see, I don't believe him now, man. But I'm not going to ask him how his mental health is never again. Uh, yeah, I was I'm not going to let him niche. <laughs> <laughs> Suffer. Just niche. In silence. When do you all go and walk on? <laughs> we don't know. Don't know he's, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's not okay. <laughs> now, Wendy is it okay though, man? Okay, when do you seek you guys? So just pray for Wendy. Pray for Wendy, man. So get him a mic, I think, you know. Uh, yeah, no, there's only there's scour, not enough mics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy has the most third world disease. I hope uh, we should just let guys guess what it is. Yeah. Currently. He has the most Ugandan third world disease <laughs> <laughs> a guy can have. <laughs> you know killer. how in the world it has the highest toward death rate? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's, had, it's higher than. Okay, mob jazz. And, uh, it's, it's mosquitoes have the highest death rate because they spread that disease. Hey. That hey. They call them, they call it the silent killer. Hey. But in I Uganda, I feel like guys have it and they're still. Guys are kawa. You see Wendy, Wendy's here. Guys here at work. <laughs> at, at work, bro. Hey. Oh, your yeah. brother says the mosquitoes have gotten quieter, man. Ah, ah. Mine, yeah, mine are ends, singing. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Are loud. But mine have gotten bigger and louder. Now mine, bro. the bogus ones have gotten bigger. But quiet. Even though they bite, it's no longer the same. Those days they bite, <laughs> and you'd slap. You'd feel like a caprick. Nah, now it's just like a. It sizzles. Bruh. Just but feel your skin. This guy's things are biting him like Frank Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are, bro. Yeah, they are, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are, yeah, they are. They're you serious. have never seen a mosquito in my room, to be You're honest. You're lying. I promise. What, really? what, 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 what do you live? Yeah, yeah, you guys are kind of far yeah. from the. Maybe it's like lake. high up the altitude. Yeah. <laughs> but you get your bogus things are oh, la, behaving, la, la, bro. La, la, you know, mine, the mosquitoes, my ends, I don't know what happened to them these days. First of all, they are bigger, they are louder, and they are bite hearts, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, before, yeah. I wouldn't feel a mosquito bite, but I feel like this time they, like, bite them yeah, and, like, make a big hole like this <laughs> for <laughs> blood to pull. <laughs> <laughs> they just sip. <laughs> yes, a twist. Exactly, bro. <laughs> now, let me kill you just sip from My worst experience was the Oguzulu mosquito. Eh. Ay, ay. Eh. Yeah. Get that mosquito, eh? Mm-mm. Didn't do you. You know, I think that bites you when you wake up. Uh. You're like, okay, what have I done to you? <laughs> 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 take the blood, bro. Just but take it. Do it after. No, no. no. Mosquitoes just bite. They live in fact. They bite you so that they can. It's the female ones that bite the you, and it's like and for mm-hmm. for their oh, eggs yeah. to develop in the yeah. blood. What or do something. the male ones do? The just male ones drink fruit juice. So they're they no more, bro. So they don't bite. They bite fruits. Uh, they don't bite people, man. Fruit, fruit, Now the worst mosquitoes are daytime mosquitoes, bro. Bro, there's none that irritates me more than that yeah. daytime mosquito. Like, what are you doing? Why right. are you right. awake? <laughs> bro, how can you go sleep, man? I feel like the daytime mosquitoes for them is now like a spot for them. Like, how can I bite this guy without getting? They are practicing. Eaten? Yeah. They are practicing. It's like a COVID. <laughs> only the hardest mosquitoes get to day drink. Bro. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, man. Listen. Uh, today we have a very, very special guest. Mm. Um, should we inter- yeah, inter- nah, let yeah, me introduce you finish what you said. Yeah, listen. This is a very special guest because we've been trying to get him on for the longest time, man. Sure. The l- bro, the but longest I'm gonna time. Call away. I uh, know, man, but you <laughs> know. I think my DM is the. <laughs> eh? Nah, you know, it's been Why one of those this? things. That we were looking at wrong places. We've been, like, in my mind, I've been planning this pod, and I always had, like, these grand ideas for how I would roll it out. Yeah. But, man, sometimes you just overthink shit and then just not do it. But, uh, yeah, man, his name is Ivan Chivuka from Navi Arudem. Arudem. Yeah, let's go. He's a professional gamer. And man, I'm so so excited for this episode, man. So excited for this conversation, bro. What's happening? Man, first of all, I respect what you guys are doing. Thank you. And man. I respect the yes, fact sir. that you're you're looking at the gaming craft as something beyond just entertainment. Yeah. You know? Because one of our goals getting into this was we looked at gaming as something we could do, but didn't have that recognition professionally. Mm. You know, most guys would look at gaming and they're like, ah man, it's just something you do for chill. You know, and gamers wouldn't be have such a seat. Mm. To be honest, mm. you know, like being invited for a podcast in Uganda, bro, mm-hmm. or even in Africa, how often do you see like gaming being a topic mainstream? Mm. Mm. You know, it's, it's it's rare. And even when we had like uh, this previous event at uh, Design Hub Games and Politics here, yeah, and we had that panel seat, and there were like representatives from the German embassy, there was mm. media. I was like, this is going somewhere. And yeah. one of our main goals was to represent modern day gaming. You know, so. Being able to do that, man, to me, that's that's a win already. And, man, those are baby steps, but yeah. I can see we're going somewhere. 
Bro, I can't hold you. Yes. Well, you're mostly here because we're all jealous of you, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> ha, imagine that. Every kid growing up just wanted to play video games yeah. as yeah. a job. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Oh, now I get you. Yeah, play yeah, video yeah. games for a living. Yeah. Uh, Bro, me, I'm just trying to understand how that's that's I mean, I keep telling my guys that you guys were privileged to be in this position, Facts. man. Facts. And that when I see them slack, I'm like, guys, come on. Mm-hmm. We can't slack. Like, the opportunity is there. Mm-hmm. The infrastructure is there. Let's make something happen. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah. I see where you're coming from when you say guys were dying to. Do. I've literally said that before, yeah. man. When that position of doing this professionally That's and a dream. Most of most of us in our childhood, bro, you either dream it to be a game tester or something, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. to sit like in a room and test mm-hmm. the new Call of Duty yeah. mm-hmm. and get paid or something. Because yeah. being a gamer wasn't like a possibility when we were growing up. Yeah. Game tasting yeah. was, cool, was the closest you could get to exactly. it. Exactly. You'd yeah. watch the movie and you're like, eh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah, but like you mentioned that um in Africa and I guess in Uganda as well, gaming is not that big yet. Why do you think that is? Because it's crazy to me. Gre- gaming is huge around the world, like in t- in terms of entertainment industries. Mm. Um games like GTA. GTA I think is like the most highest grossing piece of media of all time. I think GTA five. Yeah. Like, more than any movie, more than any song, it has made more in its lifetime. Mm. So, like, in gaming is like this very, very huge industry. Why, why hasn't it penetrated into Africa? Mm. Well, like, I have theories, but I'm first here yours. Man, there's so many reasons why. But I think I have one. At, I think I'll say like three. One, you look at the problems we have, man. You know, gaming becomes a luxury, becomes leisure, it becomes that activity you do when you have the space to do it, mm-hmm. you know? So it's a luxury that so many people may not afford. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or someone be like, hey, man, sit down and playing, you know? So you don't over-focus so much on it. I like they are well, uh, the economy is supporting them. They're making enough money, you know? Like even someone who's working at KFC can, you know, have an apartment and make sure they have monthly rent and mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to here, bro, we have so many problems. I- yeah, throwing gaming in is it's tough. Yeah, I think man, yeah. we're even still warming up to just guys just being athletes, man. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess because of, of the word playing, it's like, bro, what are you playing? Guys are niche. Yeah, yeah. Guys <laughs> like, are can you go to work? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. you yeah. look at podcasting, that's what we've been part of our conversation. <laughs> you see, like the sports industry here, yeah. yeah. Just equate the, it's the same yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you tell someone I'm going to be a football player, man. Like, bro, trust me, even right now, if your kid bro tells you, man, I want to be a, pl- you know, I want to play for Uganda Cranes, you're like, man. Yeah, grow up. Not to the trains, yeah. by the way, but there's still more work to be done. Man. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I it's agree. kind of the same thing. Whatever you see is happening in the sports, you know, even music, like any, I would say, creative industry. Yeah, we've been brought up in that era of there's so much around uh, industrial setups and those corporate jobs. I would say the corporate Uganda, mm. it's the thing. Yeah, mm. so anything outside that becomes trivial. You know, mm. I don't think it's a great expense, you know, man. <laughs> buying a PS. Now look at how many guys have a PS5 in UG, man. Yeah. Fact. Ask yourself that question. Exactly. That's one of my reasons. I think like there's a cost barrier, like a price yeah. barrier to some yeah. of these things. Like games yeah. recently went up in price to seventy dollars. Mm. That like seventy dollars, like how many hundreds or thousands of Ugandan shillings? Mm. Several. So um, not many people can afford video games, and also the internet required to play these online games. Mm. Mm. That's a real one. That's I think that's a, a, that's that's a, a real one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a tight one, bro. Man, our economy doesn't support this stuff. That's yeah. true. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, I think the only answer, how I can answer is the economy, bro. We're not yet there. I feel like Africa as a whole. Maybe mm. some, but countries are getting there slowly. Maybe in our time, our kids, they may enjoy some good stuff. I yeah. think, yeah. I hope. No, nah, I hope so because mm. guys are eating from these gaming tournaments. Bro. Yeah, I saw yeah, like there's this. Is it called Global Offensive? What's <coughs> it called? CS, 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 CS Counter Strike. Yeah, yeah Counter Strike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last I saw, I think the price was like two hundred and two hundred and eighty million, something like that. I don't and know how I feel bro. about esports. Bro, I was reading that esports. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I was reading that esports in 2020 made 155 billion dollars, bro. Yeah, <laughs> but project, you see, and it's projected to there make is, There is no story I don't really like esports, yeah. like the actual esports organization, is because esports or EA, no e- esports, like esports, the the one like that does like Counter Strike and all those competitions, is because the gamers that earn the money are still the most popular gamers. Like they have. The infrastructure ready. So like you, you look at guys like FaZe and the ones who are already big, the ones who are making that money. Mm, mm-hmm. You're not gonna find like an African there, man. They don't look for that. Because for mm. me, it's all about like sponsors. Mm. Yeah. How much are you bringing before you earn? 
Mm. You get it. Eh? Mm. So for them, it's like you have to pay like two fifty grand to join the tournament. The right? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the, the, the point of when you're trying to enter a tournament, yeah, some of the the fees are big. Mm. Yeah. But two hundred and fifty grand. So that's They're for the crazy. whole team. Huh? Yeah, yeah like, like the whole team. Can be like it's like a franchise. Like it's like the NBA. The NBA does it. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, I think some models just ad- by most of the models they're adopting for esports around like traditional sports, NBA, NFL, mostly Americans. But see me, I don't have any beef with them. <coughs> when you tell me that they focus on the guys who are bringing the most people to a sport, mm. that kind of makes sense to me, especially because it's very it's a very internet based sport so most of the viewership is coming from the internet yeah, right yeah, yeah. so if you want guys to view and you're making marketing dollars the guy who's bringing the most viewers Next should be the one to make the most money yeah. you dig it yeah um my reason is mm. getting there you have to have the, the money already yeah. You have to yeah, like you're not great. just going to get your eight guys in Uganda and, and just be like, let's and go, and go, go there. Because yeah. we are bad. Yeah. Nada. You have to pay them their money first. But those guys are sponsored, right? All the and all the teams sponsored. Yeah, they're all sponsored. The but ones. sponsorships are to be by them tell you, esports as an industry is not profitable. It's not. Yeah, it's not. I think mm. uh one of the few organizations that's making a profit is First Clan. And they just recently went public. You yeah. know. Mm. So they have like shares and everything, you know, mm-hmm. buying shares and all that. Mm. But it's not profitable yet. So what companies are doing, they're just raising. What organizations are doing are raising and getting investors in. So most of these investors are in this thing of, let me invest in this organization, this esports organization, and use it as a marketing strategy. Mm-hmm. I'll give you an example for, I'll give you an example of like uh, 100 Thieves. It's one of the top organizations out yeah. there. If you look at 100 Thieves owners, Drake is one of the owners, like Drake the musician. Valkyrie. Uh, yeah, Valkyrie. Yeah, those ones became co-owners. Yeah. But now the major, there's a guy called Danny Gilbert. I don't know if you, I think yeah. that's him. The guy who owns Cleveland and some other companies. So he basically got 100 Thieves as a marketing strategy, got his companies because he has a rocket mortgage, some few companies that he was looking for a marketing platform. So he advertises his companies through 100 Thieves. Mm. Which is what they do with most like sports clubs as well. Yeah, yeah. I think so. It's, it's it makes sense. Yeah, esports is more of like yeah. s- sports. But it makes all sense. sports, I think, is yeah. just right now is just mostly a marketing tool. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like now we need to track back, bro. You need to tell us a bit more about yourself, yeah. where you took this path. Like now, I want to know about you, man. Uh man, gaming, gaming wasn't something I did aggressively growing up. And that's why when uh, when you guys were talking in your last podcast about gaming, I was like, "Fuck, this guy's no more than I do," <laughs> you know, because yeah. me, my gaming. Uh, my gaming involvement started in 2019 after high school. Mm. Uh, I played a lot when I was a kid, yeah. But when you get into high school, bro, there's that thing of gaming is a geeky thing. Mm-hmm. So, man, style up. Style up. Style up doing some stuff, man. Start looking cool and all that shit. And I was in a Miliango, so I, I kind of fell off. And my parents are not so big in terms of funding, giving me money. Because originally I was a bit up and wild. They were like, man, why now add gaming in the equation? So I didn't have playstations and any of that stuff but i had a friend of mine who's now actually part of my organization called uh strike he's one of our streamers i literally used to jump to his house to play his ps2 once in a while when my mom goes i'll just eh? <laughs> in, <laughs> in high <laughs> school you were jumping to play yeah, video games yeah yeah so mad thing. That, so that's, wild. that's a mad yeah, thing. people <laughs> were jumping <laughs> for many <laughs> reasons <laughs> you guys jump for the game yeah uh, <laughs> but, but that was dope now that, yeah. that's where my but i was so bad at gaming that there was a time i went to my boy's crib we're playing fifa here these guys are beating me, bro, like crazy. Then my boys are like, you know what? Now let's play who gets to score themselves more. And I still lost. Yeah. Like on goals, I still lost. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me, bro. Yeah, so I was like so bad, you know. But um, I realized there was a thing that was booming in school. And I even did have the peripherals. So I used to have this book called, uh, I used to call it the Kibza Rager. I got it from Chivuka. I used to literally paste game. I got like uh, gaming magazines and paste stuff in there just to keep up. When my boys are talking, I used to have conversation. Because mm-hmm. I used to feel like I, I'm left out of the equation. Mm-hmm. No more than having that conversation. So the only way I used to, I used to cope with the gaming industry was that whenever something would happen, when there's a new magazine, I'll just go cut you out, did. paste in my book, write my own notes. You know, be as if I played the game. Hey, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. have some have something to talk about. Because you didn't have a console. I didn't have a console. I didn't have any of that Mad. stuff, bro. I had like some office, 
you know those old cathode ray tubes uh machines yeah that be big yeah, yeah. yeah. with, with that stuff, with man. a battery <laughs> bro put it <laughs> the air put forward but nah uh-huh. shit wouldn't run man uh-huh. so basically I could do as man just watch a few we are just play vice city on those ones yeah those are vice city vice city on those ones but the movie movie mov- from there i remember uh i got into in my form 3 yeah that's when i actually got into the space of growing brands and doing some stuff for myself um to go a bit deep i had to repeat my senior 3 mm-hmm. in namiliango yeah so that kind of gave me this thing of man get your shit together mm-hmm. yeah so i remember uh, a few friends of mine were talking in front of me and they were talking about uh, a rugby project of hey man this have a rugby event during holidays and things of that sort so i ever had that conversation and when they step one of them stepped out, i was like bro i think i want in you know so that's when i started getting into this space of uh building a rugby brand and if you guys out of MIA or TIB and you mm, get a yeah. TIB yeah so we created a TIB for ourselves called MIA men in action yeah so said by friend of mine called Oguru he did a good job with, with that project but when i got involved also i got an opportunity to execute rugby privately so would host like uh, would go to Chadondo book Chadondo out and get guys in 10,000 to enter that stuff that normal normal stuff mm. so at those events during holidays yeah so me that's when like i feel the branding thing started like building a building a products that's when the journey started for me you know so when i looked at MIA and i used to watch out of the WWE yeah? i wanted to replicate sports entertainment through rugby that was my dream mm. and the last event i had the chat on was called MIA versus TIB just like how we have smackdown versus raw mm. yeah and even it was a blast bro what's up yeah Yeah so I thought that uh, after that I would continue rugby and get like deep but it was a bit hard to bring these new concepts since rugby had a union already mm. they had a formula you know there was a board the rules to follow you couldn't go super abstract and bring mm. crazy ideas Mm-mm. you know so that sports entertainment crazy stuff was that you couldn't yeah. apply man yeah. you know tell you now I also had to like break through a few doors man because yeah, I probably have to talk to mm-hmm. signatures or so it became tough so that's when I said I was like my hotels can I jump into that can accommodate sports entertainment boom gaming so that's how our journey started for gaming you know mm. and remember i had like no uh in depth t- you know connection with gaming because i was now more into traditional sports i used to play basketball when i was uh when i was in high school then i saw rugby as something that was popping off g8 schools man it, rugby was a thing so i looked at it as an opportunity to grow a brand around it mm-hmm. So yeah, when Oguru made them I just jumped and I was like, man, this push this thing. Okay. And it, it did its job to be honest. It did its job. So in 2019 pulled up, I was like, you know what? I think this tries gaming thing and see. So between that that time and now, it's been me just educating myself around gaming yeah. and just catching up basically because there's a lot to catch up on. I bet. Yeah, there's so much especially if you have I'm not an OG gamer to be honest. Mm. I'm not that guy who literally been yeah yeah cuz ps when i used the ps4 i got a ps4 in 2019 that was literally my first console that was your first console and when guys see me they think that us ah, guy has been a yes, game yes, ah, be nah. but one thing i learned is that sometimes yeah you need to step out of the industry to grow it yeah mm-hmm. it's so hard for people within the industry to grow that industry mm-hmm. just like how you can't see you ask yourself how many football players own football teams, teams yeah so how many so most guys have been in the gaming space but this concept of esports and things yeah. never came up Good business design. yeah so why because maybe they were with, they were already they were gamers you know so that's i think that's the biggest lesson that guys need to step out of an industry yeah to grow that industry you need uh, to not yeah. be part because if you look at guys who own sports teams man these None guys are athletes. taking other businesses yeah. but they're not even athletes but you said your first console was a ps4 mm. um the picture that you showed me of like your first system had an xbox in it so mm. I think it was white. Yeah, hey, <laughs> well, it was a white PS4. Yeah, it was a white okay, PS4. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. We'll put that when we will put that picture up. Yeah. That was oh. my <laughs> first console. <laughs> Bro. That was console. my first setup, yeah. Because yeah. I, I I when I jumped in I was like, man, let me create. I was this thing of man, let me land on a job. I used to see streamers, but I didn't know what streaming was when mm. you get, yeah. Mm. So I was like, ah, let me just try this thing out. So I'll get my laptop and uh, my console. That thing was loud. You could think it's uh <laughs> like the <laughs> fan. <laughs> 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 it was on the PS4 bro my days bro, all yeah. PS4s are loud loud yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys that that TikTok of a guy starting his PS4 well like everyone's asleep? 
Like you tell me nothing on the middle of a night is. Hey, and you know it also depends long. on the game. When yeah. you're playing like FIFA, it's kawa. A fight's kawa. When you put bro. in like NBA, <laughs> it's <laughs> loud as hell. Because you, you you realize you're running. Uh, you you're using how? When was the PS4 made? Twenty what? Six. Sixteen. Sixteen is actually near. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure I feel like it's older than that. Yeah, it's. Yes. Yeah. Now Warzone was a game that was mainly really in what twenty in twenty nineteen. So you're running a 2019 game on this ma- on this machine that yeah. was made a couple of years ago. Your fans yeah. have to blast. Bro, your fans <laughs> <are> <laughs> 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 if they don't blast, your GP is going to melt. <laughs> <laughs> it's give or take. But yeah, man. Because it was dated. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the first setup was a hustle, but we made it work. Mm-hmm. You get. No one was creating content back then. And I was like, maybe there's an opportunity here. Let me make my videos because I would clip things on the PS4. Then, literally, by the way, I used to act out gameplay because you know you put like a face cam as you're playing a face cam as if you're playing but that was hard for me because i didn't have that i couldn't sync that so basically i would record myself separate and also capture the footage separate ah, so I'll you're watching yeah, but you're pretending like you're playing did you know never catch on <laughs> did you know never catch on what you ever found out that too <laughs> <laughs> that's not hey, that's the reason why guys that guys were like man i can't create content because i can't use my ps4 and also have a face come at the same time. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Let me act this shit up. Let me just pretend. Because I've played it already. Hey, yeah, so I know what's going to happen. It's my gameplay. That's a big brain. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, a lot that's of smart. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. <laughs> and you know, it's mad because even like the initial gamers, like the first guys you saw, mm. then the screen record, then they just voice over. You can't yeah, even see yeah, their faces. They're just like, wow! I did that! Yeah. Yeah. But that was a great man. That setup at least took me for a year. You mm. know, I used to do research and it was cool, man. Mm. So how did you end up playing Call of Duty? There are many esports games that you could have gotten into. Why <laughs> Call of Duty? Cold, when I when I got into gaming, yeah, Call of Duty was something that was in my head mm-hmm. even from day one. That had all it. It was just the if, but we all knew what Call of Duty was. Yeah. Like, even though you've not played the game, someone comes and tells you what's Call of Duty, you ask me it's a game. Mm. First time, you know? And the whole army stuff, I used to vibe with that stuff a lot. Actually, my name, because my... Uh, my uh i identify in my digital digital space i identify as metal yeah full metal was but then i cut it to metal because it was is that some anime shit full metal alchemist no that's how most guys think yeah but i got it from a series called uh seal team i don't know if you guys have watched yeah, it yeah uh, seal okay, team was a guy it. that called full metal just that he died who, who, hey, hey. Who metal? Who was he was a metal? silent guy oh full metal is a guy who died who? he died some yeah i think one of these yeah my sisters love that show i remember yeah. a guy who died he died um, somewhere there He's a member of the team who died. Mm. I'm trying to remember what his face looks like. So that's, yeah, he's a big guy. <laughs> he jumped yeah, on a bomb or something. Yeah, some shit he like He jumped that. on a bomb, yeah. yeah. Three, three, uh, heroic, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why I got that. Okay, have you at least watched the anime now? No, I haven't. Man, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask you about anime, but that's what we can, we can get into. Yeah. Oh, because that's, know. man, anime and gaming, yeah, actually the culture industry in general, yeah? culture, general, it's just culture. Mm. Anime was something I used to ask myself, why do guys watch this shit? Yeah. Because I, I didn't clean. I didn't learn didn't get that it. stuff. Mm. I just didn't vibe with anime. Until a friend of mine told me to try Attack on Titan, yeah? Mm-hmm. And bro, I sat down and watched that thing. Hey, bro. <laughs> last time I sacked, I was in season two. I was at, I was at the point eh, where the Armored Titan and um, what's the bigger one? The Colossal. The Colossal, Colossal Titan. Titan. Yeah, yeah. When like they've like confessed to this guy said come with us da, da, da. that was the episode I was on. I finished that season though. Yeah. Fire. I'm on season uh, nine, I think. Yeah, season five. nine episode, but I'm stuck there, bro. Season five. nine? Season yeah. no season, season five. five. Season Season five is the last one. The last one. No, which, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Season no, yeah, yeah. Season wait, which one's the latest season right now? Five. 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 Yeah. Where did I get the name? Episode from? nine. Yeah, 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 episode nine. Yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think it will be hard for me to watch any other anime apart from that. I don't uh, know. No, I no, no. Yeah, you can't you never can't say never. I don't know why. <laughs> you have to leave some space for you God. Bro. Eh? I promise. <laughs> I There's promise. definitely other anime out yeah. there. You will, if you that enjoyed you can, that, you'll enjoy yeah. the others. If you, if you, let's just look at it like that. Like, if I enjoyed this one, maybe there's another one out there yeah. for me. I won't give it a try, bro. I think once I finish AOT, you, man, you have no choice but to start with Which one would you guys recommend? Full Metal Which anime would I recommend? Okay. You have to start with Full Metal. That's your name, bro. Name to yourself. Brotherhood. Not Brotherhood, though. There's two Full Metal Alchemists. Yeah. Let me see. You like sports? Yeah. But um, as her, sports <laughs> anime. Now, now let me, now let me yeah. tell you. There's one called Kuroko's Basketball. I told guys to watch it in the last one. But the this, last, yeah. the, the reason three. I recommend this one is because it's an anime, number one, which is lit. Number two, it's about basketball, which everyone understands. Mm-hmm. And number three, there are no powers. So there's no one who's shooting fireball, ice yeah. ball. No, no, no. Which ones have you watched? 
the anime. Mm, a lot, yeah. All of them. for me, so just haven't yeah, watched. Have <laughs> watch. yeah. Bro, I started watching Legend of Korra. Um, I saw your tweet. But this is this <laughs> have you guys watched Arcane? I, can't. I think you have because I, I, I have to watch it. Yeah. 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 I vibe with that, bro. And that was like my first elite. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but now you're a gamer, so it just made sense to you. Yeah, League of Legends. Yeah, League of Legends. Have you played League of Legends? No, but let me tell you, most of the concepts I'm getting for like building this brand are from League, like Riot Gaming as a whole. Yeah. Those guys are killing games. Riot Gaming is doing the most, bro. You know, those guys average like. Let me see. Last I checked, they're averaging close to like a hundred k viewers on their Twitch streams, mm. and that's big. Yeah. Looking at it from even like a business sense, yeah, you see that ecosystem. I want to share with you guys. It's it's most of once you see right, they have right music. You mm. know they have right, and they've, yeah, yeah. they've built a strong IP around this gaming thing, which is League, mm. and they've gone into animated series. They've gone into music. Mm-hmm. They've gone into much and product development mm. and what. So you can see that business model is thick. Yeah. And if you guys see that, bro. Yeah. But before going into thing. your roadmap, I actually yeah. want to talk about Twitch and YouTube gaming. Those yeah. are two major like gaming streamers, Platform, right? Yeah. 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 So which one do you guys use and I guess why? Why? Uh okay. You tell we use both in a sense. Uh but our main for like the brand. Uh Navi's main platform is YouTube gaming. Mm. Why YouTube? Because my YouTube is accessible. Even my mom, I can tell her, hey, I'm live on YouTube, come through. Mm. It's, 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 it's easy. But Twitch, bro, Twitch is a bit of a hassle. And if you look at most third world countries, the bandwidth Twitch requires is a bit crazy. Mm. Not just Uganda, by the way. Like, generally, mm. third world country out there. Okay. Even guys in the States hustle, bro. With Twitch. Yeah, they hustle with Twitch because mm. of, like, the buffering and all that. So it's a bit it's a bit demanding for you to watch, like, a Twitch stream for, like, yeah. five Four hours one. straight. Mm. No, no, no buffer, nothing. Mm. So, yeah, I think YouTube will be the go-to. And looking at the future and the integration, YouTube is more, has a better connection in this community than Twitch. Yeah. The direction Twitch is taking is a bit uncertain, but mm. you know YouTube is there, you know. How do you mean it has a better connection, connection with, with your community? I mean, the YouTube CEO literally had uh, an interview with one of the top t- uh, streamers on YouTube, I forgot her name, but it's a lady. Yeah, but you know their community engagement is thick. She literally reaches out. Yeah, but now, to, but that. with gaming, it doesn't seem that way to me. What do you mean, bro? Twitch guys are like they are Twitch guys. Like guys who really fuck with Twitch, especially the gamers. It seems like their communities are there. I understand. And as that soon as the guy mean. snaps his fingers, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's coming. But you coming. see, this is the thing. Um, I'd say okay, from the little knowledge I have, mm. yeah, I'd say uh, Twitch began as a streaming platform. Yes, but they don't care for their streamers. Yeah, YouTube really does. Yeah, How even you? Facebook gaming, which is like recent, tries. cares more. How yeah. do you mean <laughs> they don't care for their like streamers? Twitch? Just leaves you there if you have issues as your jazz. Mm. Sort it mm. out yourself. Yeah. And Twitch also doesn't understand. For example, people receive bans for the crazy smallest stuff, things. <laughs> like yeah. you, you will just go. be there streaming. Probably like Cass says something that mm. like is easy, easy. Mm. and ah. They've been banned yeah. for three days. Mm. Like Twitch is too stringent, and even though like most gamers are there are fine, but there's a reason that's why many of them are also shifting to YouTube gaming. Yeah, yeah. I guess Twitch had like the head start as well. Yeah, yeah. Twitch had the head start, but now it's, it's evolving, bro. bro. It's becoming, it's becoming a dirty site. Also, you know, we're getting. Uh, to be honest, there's porn on Twitch right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> those <laughs> like squats, like squats for what do they call those donations on Twitch? <laughs> 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 the, the, the chicks who do squats for them, like she does a squat, they give her like five dollars. Oh, really? yeah, for a sub, for like a sub, sub. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even like the, the whole what is this thing called the ear thing? ASMR. ASMR, yeah, yeah, ASMR. Yeah, wild bro. Twitch, bro. <laughs> He's thick on Twitch, but Twitch is a good platform. But if, if you're looking at gaming at scale, like mm. like if you're top personality. Twitch is a go-to. But if you're trying to build your brand and you're a s- small local stream, or even here in UG, not YouTube not is not the best idea. place because you can go brand there. You mm-hmm. can create, you can stream and also do your vo- videos. You can even have podcasts like this and yeah. have them stay there. Mm-hmm. But Twitch, I think after is it 60 days, boom, oh, it's okay. gone. The also, I guess, is I guess yeah. it's it's one of those because they're all owned by like the larger companies. So yeah. it's, yeah. it's yeah. like an Amazon versus Google thing. Yeah. And Google and has this, yeah, these YouTube Google guys have footprint. Yeah, yeah bro, they've been be. doing this, man. It's yeah. just a much bigger platform yeah. to post yeah. to. I mean, yeah. Twitch can go tomorrow, bro. True. Anything well, can happen. I mean, nothing's gonna happen to Amazon. <laughs> that, yeah, 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 but <laughs> but do you know Amazon doesn't give two shits about Twitch? Twitch. That might be the issue. Yeah, that 
that might they're be literally just true. using it as an Amazon Prime. Yeah, just for agenda. cloud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. subscription yeah. bonus. Uh-huh. Just like something nice yeah. to own. Yeah, you know. Eh? I but don't like and they're fighting. Those guys, eh? <laughs> that was <laughs> Amazon. So uh, no, but trust that me, get away guys. Amazon's like, man, this Twitch thing, it's costing us. Cut it. I think I'm a bit of difference with but Google, it's hard, man. It's hard. Google will start some shit. Google and Facebook, eh? They'll start some shit and really pump it. Like, they'll say, oh, you guys are doing this. Either we buy you or I was going to start something just like yours, just like yours yeah. and then come for your head. But do you guys Bro, use, let, do you use Facebook? No, Facebook, we don't. Facebook. Nah. We don't. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook is so hard to use, man. You have to use yeah. a VPN. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I think it's, it's still banned. banned. We don't even really advertise it's on Facebook, banned. you know. That's a whole demographic that we're just missing out on because yeah, be, by the way, yeah, be just because of all the yeah, yeah. blockades, man. By making a decision, I think starting uh, two months from now, we're going to hit the, going, we're going to do the, the Facebook grind. Yeah, I think we need to think about it. As Facebook well. is fire, but Millie that's a you. big demo with the a VPN you get. Which internet do you? Use? Which one? Because mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I've used Facebook, Facebook VPN. I don't know if just without a VPN. Of, yeah. Okay, it works over Wi-Fi. Some, some Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Yeah, maybe some no more Wi-Fi. 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 Yeah, no more data. Yeah. No more. You need a VPN for yeah, that. Even part. some Wi-Fi doesn't. I think yeah, it depends on your provider. Wi-Fi. I think yeah. my provider open because I use Zuku and Zuku is. Yeah. 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 Zuku. You, have, you use Zuku as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I never go on Facebook. But on Facebook. What's on Facebook? What's on Facebook? That's what I know. People are Yeah, but so many guys on Facebook. I know when I open, I see a lot of like groups. Facebook is still the biggest social media platform you get. But what are they doing there? Guys are posting like forty on your mind. How do I know? Are people still <laughs> saying what's on what's on their mind? What's uh, on no, your right. mind? <laughs> <laughs> With a <the> location, <laughs> I'm stressed <laughs> at Walker's house. Stressed <laughs> at Walker. <laughs> Sydney's feeling stressed. <laughs> stressed at Walker's house. Their reactions. Oh my gosh! Facebook. Uh, that's uh, when I look into Facebook, I can feel like an algorithm working on me. You guys. Mm. No, actually, the last time I logged on Facebook, I couldn't use it, bro. Wow, it was bro. so confusing, man. There's yeah, so much going on. Yeah, bro. yeah it's about it's so popular. Nothing makes sense to bro. me anymore. I think yeah. it left Ugandans behind because we don't know what's going on. Yeah, but you don't even know to post. There's, there's so place. much on on each side, like this, you know. Yeah, but parents are popping on that one, bro. Facebook. Oh, 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 oh. They, they can teach you so how to use aunties Facebook. and uncles. Eh? <laughs> your mom's on Facebook. No, but my aunties and uncles. Yeah, they know, bro. They are hot on those. Facebook all of them on WhatsApp. Yeah. Nah, for me, the, the social media, I see all my people on is TikTok, man. Really, I, mean, I was so no shocked one. when I phoned my mom. Has a TikTok? She sends me TikToks all the time. Yeah, I said, and I don't have TikToks. I struggle to watch them. But she has a TikTok, bro. I I can't believe you. Me, the guys at the gate. I told you about the my fire TikToks, bro. Those guys be making them. They be making them. Yeah. Hey. Badly yeah, so. TikTok is taking over, bro. Do you, do you guys time, post bro. on TikTok? You guys TikTok, TikTok yeah, yeah, actually, no. We're starting to do uh, what they call uh, TikTok lives, yeah? Yeah. 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 Gaming on TikTok. Because, you know, IG is doing uh, IG, IG gaming also. Instagram yeah. gaming. Easy. They tested it out, I think, uh, two weeks back. Yeah. What's, What's IG gaming? What's IG gaming? gaming? Like? What does that look Just like? What's the difference in a live? Stream, you like you're streaming, what you stream on... Uh, you know, like a live stream, yeah, the yeah like the IG live. Yeah, yeah, but then, like, is there like a, a smaller screen for that? Yeah, no, it's just like your face, and then the game. Have you seen yeah, 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 OBS? But I've done it before. No. Like, just use OBS, and then yeah, do like a normal layout. Yeah, you put your face come on top, then the game game, game on game the down. bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but it's in a vertical uh, yeah. aspect ratio. That's actually that's, that's dope. That makes class. Oh yeah, yeah, guys have been doing it, and TikTok. That's how TikTok guys also doing it. Mm. Mm. TikTok, some TikTok guys just do it the most ratchet way, man. They just put the camera in front of the TV and yeah, just watch. And it's just yeah. 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 <laughs> But gaming would be such, such a dope addition to TikTok lives because TikTok lives be lame. Yeah, they be like they so just be doing random. nothing, man. Yeah. Bro, like there's people be writing names on like papers. Like just like put your name in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. Put your name, yeah. put someone writes to the paper, and yeah. then you find the person 12k views, and I'm like, yeah, because that's how they make bread. It's just, <laughs> but you guys like the app, TikTok. TikTok. I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I, I find it off. Ah, yeah, trust okay. me. Yeah. <laughs> you've just not yet been hooked. <laughs> I, mean, I, really I refused. I refused to be hooked. Yeah, I'm exactly like you. I I've refused. I just like refused like to, to yeah. download that app. I won't like you. Yeah, yeah, it's like I crack just, cocaine. I just for TikTok. Oh, la, 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 la. Right now, I can't. When it grabs you. I know that's the story. That's the story with everyone. That's what they told me. That's what they told me. When it grabs you. I can assure you that I was And me it grabs you like this here, man. Bro, me I already have a crippling... Instagram addiction, bro. I yeah, don't I add know. another video. But I'll say, this, there, I'll say this. I don't think I'm addicted to TikTok or no will I ever be because it's one of those places where I go. I'll maybe I'll be there like, yeah, like 30 do. minutes max a day yeah. but it will be a joyful 30, bro. 
Bro, you know, you're not seen. And you said the thing with TikTok no okay, is you don't no even start. have to you don't even have to have an account. Yeah. Just download yeah. the app and you and start. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, with this guys, yeah. that and TikTok I'll say, algorithm is it's strong. That's the strongest algorithm. Strong 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 we have you, bro. I don't tell me and like the first week that I had it, the first few weeks I had it, I was like, this thing is taking too long to learn me. I guess those Facebook guys they work faster. This TikTok thing has learned me, bro. They know how to balance it. They'll give me like. Something and it's always funny. the first TikTok. Then they'll teach me ah. something. Yes, then they'll sports. give me something ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll give me like uh, some well, inspiration. Yeah. 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 The, the, dancing, <laughs> hmm? yeah. the dancing video stopped though. On TikTok, no, bro. No, they've kind of reduced. Now you find like some guy telling a story, then you tell yeah, him part yeah, one, part one, one leg around. Maybe like a TikTok, TikTok thing, thing, one leg, one leg, one. Yeah, show that up. That's your expression. No guys are funny on that app, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, TikTok, TikTok is where you go if you want to get viral, bro. bro. I wanna get into this roadmap of yours, man. Before the roadmap, you asked something about code, yeah, because I think oh. there's something to, sh- to share there. Um, Call of Duty was oh, Call of Duty. a title, like I said, everyone played. Mm-hmm. And then you could walk up and ask your mom or even your sister, do you know what Call of Duty is? Mm-hmm. Tell your mom, that's a video game, you know. So when I saw code, your mom and sister are dope, bro. I'll tell you that. Come on, bro. My yeah. my, mom, <laughs> my mom has no clue. The mic. Oh, oh the mic. mic. Yeah. Hey, Bob, guess my mic is here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear him. You can't. No, no, be like so close. Like here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, cool. It's very directional. All right, cool. Mm. Yeah, so Code. Uh, code was, to me, the competitor for FIFA. Because okay. when I saw FIFA, to be honest, I didn't buy with it. You mm. get, yeah. I played FIFA for some time, and I was, it was cow. It was a cow game. But when I looked at gaming out there, yeah, and how the trend is moving, and how the industry, the industry direction, yeah, FIFA didn't have, like, big, big placement. It has here in like local, like Africa and yeah. everything, because it's super accessible. But man, most of the top esports games out there, bro. FIFA, FIFA is in one of them. FIFA is in mm-hmm. there, bro. Mm-hmm. And so when I saw Call of Duty, like well, this is something we could do. And I saw my target market, a kid in high school, maybe out of high school or even in high school, and uh, can afford a PC or a PlayStation. These guys can actually play Call of Duty. You know, it became that culture game. It had that culture depth in it that was mm-hmm. lacking in FIFA. What about titles like Fortnite? Fortnite is also like Super uh, Duper. Yeah. Yeah. When when I when I came in Fortnite, I was Fortnite is what actually turned gaming what it is right now. I, bet, mm, yeah. I would true. say. True, yeah. True. Fortnite was what got uh, these NBA athletes to be playing. It was <laughs> got all these guys of the NFL and all that. Mm-hmm. You know, it was that pop culture game that just. Help and I also think pop off. Fortnite came at the right time. Right time, bro. Right before lockdown, like lockdown, yeah. and then everyone was at home, and you're like, let me just download Epic Games. Fortnite, Battle Royale, and then every other game started getting Battle Royale, Warzone. Yeah. Um, there were a bunch of others there. Yeah, Apex, it yeah, Apex also. Legends. Yeah. yeah, and then the gaming landscape changed. Now you have m- the most random games like Fall Guys. Like why is it that off, big? Bro. Yeah, yeah. it's but just like a thing running, <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Bro, you know what? I'm guys played Fall Guys. I'm I'm not. You see how you said that? Like FIFA isn't cultural. I'm kind of still stuck there. I know. I know. Some of those games. Eh, like P- basically FIFA 2K Madden, mm. you would think that those have like the biggest cultural input cause because because it's imprint because they've been there for such a long time yeah mm. and guys have like an attachment to it and guys are very competitive with it but then yeah. like when you like Google the top five it's leagues there. yeah they're not there why well, my opinion is mm. gaming is shaped a lot by the biggest streamers nowadays streamers yeah that's, that's yeah. one okay. of them so yeah. for example the thing that's popping in the gaming world right now it's is BR. GTA role play. Mm. And that's something that I mean, you won't find like, say, who is the <laughs> biggest is streamer? A guy who, is there a guy who is a tic- there's a TikToker who I guess he role plays, but it's him and his mom. So like he'll be walking on the street, and the mom will and be. then <laughs> <laughs> like someone will like nudge him and try to get in a fight, and then his mom will come from those and <laughs> shoot him. <laughs> <them. laughs> like an old lady, bro. <laughs> or like the police will be chasing him and have yeah, like six yeah. stars, and then his mom will come and it's yeah. hilarious. Uh, yeah. But you see, the top streamers don't play sports. I, they really don't. Yeah, and maybe it's just not as fun to watch. Mm. Yeah, because it's like, uh, like it's I can watch the real thing. GTA yeah. role play is fun because you like you in this guy's world. It's like the meta. And I guess the reason why FIFA is so popular is because football is so popular. Yeah, soccer is, is popular. Yeah, so it's, it's like it's like easy it's to access. accessible. Yeah, it's uh-huh, a very accessible yeah, yeah. game. Can get a, if someone goes to town buy a PS4, bro. Yeah. Hey, put for me FIFA as a yeah, must. Exactly. This is even guaranteed. Yeah. You can't buy a second-hand console without, without FIFA. FIFA. So why doesn't it stream well? Is my question. Because it doesn't have that social aspect to it okay mm. you know that what was, helps oh. what helps gta is because man we're in Multi and i'm in players, my boys yeah. uh-huh mm. was on same thing bro wasn't during covid was the 
to us here it popped off. Mm. That's where this brand grew. That's where the Arudem community became solid. I can't in my mind I remember playing FIFA like as a kid I always thought that the evolution of FIFA would be like 11 guys 11 playing on one team so everyone's mm. controlling. 11 kind of yeah, yeah. Black pro, sounds like two clubs. clubs. Not as a pro clubs. Yeah. Controllers. Pro clubs. Yeah, pro, pro clubs pro, there but like then 11 guys can play yeah, like over the internet you're controlling yeah. your guy in the same team. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz that's where like all the manager all the but That's crazy. Players, that's but you see the guys the guys who do 11 guys in there man. The guys who do <laughs> not like hard. <laughs> like I come and I get my random guys. You find, mm. for example, say, let me group, let me use a, a random, like the side men. Uh, mm. They create their pro clubs, do it as them. them yeah. Everyone against, knows the like, role they're playing. Yeah, yeah. And those are the only guys who play FIFA. Mm. UK guys. They're the uh, only ones. And maybe it's because also UK guys are like the Premier League is here. Yeah. Man, yeah. You know, I think that a lot of this shit, it has to do with America, man. That's the mm. thing, yeah. I just feel like the America. Americans don't fuck with FIFA as much as everyone else. Yeah. They don't. They don't. So it you just know America, it's all 2K, bro. It's all 2K. I think it's like so. America and also those Asian countries. Yeah, they're all, mm. they like football, but I guess it's just not as fun. Because they're the ones who play a lot of like League of Legends. Yeah, and uh-huh. that's why those games are Dota, huge because yeah, of like and South market. Koreans and uh-huh. Chinese. If Africa pulled off something like that and got like our own African League of Legends, yeah, yeah, esports as an industry would be crazy, bro. Yeah. You know, if imagine because that's what League of League did in Asia, bro. Yeah, yeah but you took know, like, over. Asia is one of those places where there was like a a gaming like epidemic <laughs> where guys just don't do shit guys yeah, die guys, I think yeah, we, we don't even know their rehabs. games we don't know we yeah, don't, we don't know, know their games most of the play. games they play because they play the, game, the games they play are like Chinese Dota, 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 League yeah, of yeah. Legends Dota's the biggest one right? PUBG. but you guys yeah. have the ban yeah when they, they're like you can't they give them a specific I think one hour in the weekend the weekend, weekend? Yeah. yeah that's in China though yeah, not in all of Asia they ban Dota no like video games gaming as a whole you can only game on like the weekend now you see that's what it would take but that's for kids mm-hmm. that's what it would take that's as long as you're below that's why you know like that's where the bread is yeah. when guys are addicted to your product to the point that like the demand is inelastic like the government has to say ah that's but enough <laughs> I think it's not only that people also started milking that so like uh. you'd find chicks who are doing like ASMR were making so much money from kids mm, mm. live streaming and all yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah so you find like a kid giving a chick like $5,000 they're like boss what are you getting you're 15 yeah <laughs> <laughs> but he's also making he's making gamer bread so hey. he can pay that no, but did you did you ever these Asian guys play video games did you ever the story of that guy who they have this gaming Okay, let me start from the beginning. <laughs> so they have, the, <laughs> you know, we have internet cafes here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you have gaming, gaming cafes. cafes yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like do. you go, you rent a, a like a, a machine. Yeah. You sit in a gaming chair, and you can game. Like our jobs of two bob one hour. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. super advanced now. But super bro. advanced, like in an AC yeah. room, like chairs, nice. You have headphones. Everyone uh-huh. is like. So now this one guy played, I think it was League or Dota for so long mm. that he he basically. He got paralyzed from the waist down. Like, you know how you make <laughs> <laughs> You know, he Bro, sat down crazy. so long playing this game. You know when you get, like, you sit down for so long, then you're, you're like, nah, man. You get, yeah. like, when you continue, usually you stand up and you shake it up. <laughs> and the guy for me continued. Bro. Basically, he kept going till he was paralyzed. They had to, like, surgically <laughs> remove him out of that chair. You're like, by professionals, like, medical people. Ah. Yeah, bro. So like that's the extent to which this guy. Maybe that's why they needed like a ban. Okay, that guy needed yeah, only no, two hours on the no weekend. Guys <laughs> <laughs> the guys were dying. The guys weren't eating. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. the guys like, were dying at the. No, no, no guys weren't getting no more jobs, bro. No one was working the factory. Jobs, what, and bro? Army and all that shit. Just go and log into yeah. the game. Guys, like I think the economy was losing talent, man. Generally, mm. you couldn't yeah. get guys to do stuff. So anymore. why not give guys a chance to make money off? It's like professional gambling. If a guy is addicted, give him a chance to make some money off it. Obviously, so he his addiction. <laughs> <laughs> so he can return the money. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. I think they also need guys in the factories too. Yeah, you guys. You need guys in the factories working hard labor. I don't know what they do mm. in China, but yeah. everything, bro. They need to make yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. But you sure. could say they have robots. Why do they need people? But man, hey, <laughs> so someone has to make the robots. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. But my thing is, man, they wanted guys to join the army and shit. That guy wanted fighters, yeah. bro. I but think I don't know. But I'd be saying, okay, like today the the US Army has like a gaming division. Yep. Like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called US Army Esports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah US Army it's Esports. A, esports team, actually. Yeah, At yeah. first, I thought it was because they're trying to like be look hip and cool to like kids so that they can recruit more. Nah. But then recently, someone told me that actually what they do is they get video game, like the recruits who are good at playing video games because those skills. Transfer yeah. over to like flying drones and yeah. stuff yeah. like that's the what fast it is. muscle the precision. Fast the precision yeah. You can you know he has like those fast. He can shoot. I don't know. He he. What do you call it? Fast twitch. Mm. Ah, I don't know. 
Yeah, but, um, yeah. Hand eye, hand eye uh, coordination. coordination. All yeah, that but, yeah. to Bro, but the US, US Army has always been really big on sports, you guys. Sports, but yeah, yeah. but, but, this, but, yeah, but this move, yeah, this move of esports was it had that backing of the one guys to join the army, and if you go to like most Call of Duty, so the Call of Duty league, yeah, if you if you go to a live event, you find a table Sold, of guys. Yeah. Didn't you see? Didn't you see Bro. that those yeah, memes yeah. of how they were cr- recruiting guys based on if your was on score? But it's a theme, bro. I saw, I I saw like the trailer for that last Call of Duty, and they were interviewing the soldiers who they yeah, used yeah, yeah. to make it more realistic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Those, yeah. I saw I, it was one of the earlier drone, those drone like modules, the control modules. One of the earlier ones had like an Xbox controller in there. Really, mm. mm. bro? Like, yeah. Kind never know. Up. This kind of like this movie Ender's Game. Yeah, Ender's that's game. kind of messed up. Have you mm. already like this movie where they Very were training kids to fight, but yeah. they were killing people for video real. games. Yeah. yeah, they were killing actual friend aliens. Of one of our yeah. guys in our community, one of our good friend, one of our, he's a good friend of mine. He he's in the UK right now. He's joining the army. Now that guy want to see his story because he's super good at Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, he's one of the guy. He's one of the top players here in Uganda. But now he's in the UK. But he's in the UK join the army and shit. But not to play, not as a gamer. Not as a gamer. I, I mean, we super. I live in tonight. I'm playing with him. Bro, but being he's good at there, Call of Duty, I he's think. He's joining the to. army, like I think, close of year or something. Is he trying to get into that drone program? I don't know, bro. Uh, he's trying to try, try and be in Call of Duty for real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but such a guy, bro. I already see the impact the game has in his tactics. Real life, eh? yeah. Ah, yeah, but he's a bro, sharp right. kid. <laughs> Wait, gaming, yeah, it's gaming. A bit yeah. <laughs> it's gaming, a bit different. Gaming, the gaming exposure for kids is dope. Yeah. There's a kid who comes to our studio every Saturday. His kid is 11, but he can assemble a PC. Mm. He knows RAM. He knows all that shit. Me, that shit I've At 11? 11, bro. <coughs> but I, I don't know this stuff. I'm nah. telling you, my me, this stuff I've literally learned this year, last year. Yeah. This kid is sharp. Nah, these kids are smart, bro. Yeah. The guy can edit his clips. If you go to use our IG, he does his own editing, does puts the graphics in and all that slow mo stuff. Who's like that kid, bro? Put us on. You give us his ID. You give him. Yeah, she give you guys his ID. Scott Lionel, but he's sharp. You know, now you see a kid like that in ten years' time, bro. I know everything. Crazy man. Yeah. And yeah. that's where you see your market and where the behavior of guys moving forward. So do you see like the younger generation in UG taking on gaming? Is it like a positive like a uh, thing? Does it do you see it picking up? Picking up future? if 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 there's a there's there's a there's a good if it has good representation. The stereotype is still thick, man. When I meet people and they see and they look at me as a gamer, yeah, they're like, ah, oh, this guy has no sense. It's yeah, not serious. You get, yeah. No, but I think, bro, you make a very good representation of yourself. That, that's yeah. the thing. Like a, yeah, like but kind of balancing both. But yeah. trust me, for some people, if they know me from the gaming world, they don't look at me as a guy who can craft stuff, you know? So that stereotype is affecting so many people, bro. Mm-hmm. So many guys are hide because of that stuff, man. Ah, mm-hmm. my, all my boys see me play that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but because of what we're doing, I feel like this movement is what's going to help give it that representation. Mm-hmm. Just like how those brands out there have done it. Face Clan has done a good role. If you see, th- they get the signing NFL players, they're signing, mm. you know, they're signing musicians into their brand. Even like, like Snoop Dogg, Bronny, literally. Bronny's you know? in the Face Clan. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bronny James, LeBron's kid, you know. So it kind of makes it look dope. But if you're not for such movements, yeah, gaming was always going to be that thing that uh, a guy does in his basement. He's high in a mountain, you and he's like know. 35. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy to me, bro. Because like game, games are just inherently cool to me, bro. Like yeah. you yeah. actually want to know, man, as a gamer, like his gaming is still fun. Man, like, to be honest with you, yeah. <laughs> That's a tough question. It's tough. <laughs> I bet, man. <laughs> Warzone, especially, bro. Yeah. Bro, we rage, man. Yeah, this is serious like, business. It's like, guys are now trying, especially a game like Call of Duty. Yeah? It has that alpha male element to it that I want to be better than Jesse. Yeah. You get, guys grind that game. So it's it stops being fun to this element of man. I'm playing to get good. I'm trying to kill you. Yeah. And that's the when we play by them and we rage a lot. Like something small can happen. You're like, bro, you're casting. You're like, you know. Yeah. Some guys are into flash and I'm like, man, you know what? Fuck it. I'm hungry myself. You know, guys, like I'm done with the game. But the next day is there. He's back. So it's that toxic relationship between us and the game. Yeah. You guys break controllers. Man, that's to the extreme, man. Yeah. <laughs> Break your man, controller, bro. Man, man. <laughs> <laughs> but now may have ah, a question. Yeah, have a question. <laughs> Do you tell like the people you're talking to that you're a gamer? Yeah. Like, say your girlfriend. Girls. How yeah, do, how bro. do they take it? How do they take it? Yeah. I like feel you, like you've gone on a date. This chick asks you, what do I do? What do you do? I'm a gamer. A game. 
Um, yeah, today I was watching. I was watching uh, TikTok and uh, those dating, those dating things. Those, you guys do that speed dating thing, I think something uh, like that. Uh, guys, Paul, I was introducing themselves. Some guys like, hey man, I play video games. I construct Legos. What? She was like, man, that's so much more for me next. That's really? <laughs> yeah, but but yeah. one thing I realized is that what I'm doing in the industry is what gives me that confidence <laughs> to to present how are you doing uh the sun Raymond Gaze out said Raymond Gaze out said like a big fool i let let that do then man uh let that do then anyway you're saying uh, you're saying man yeah i was saying uh man when you when you step out i can identify as a gamer now but if you look at my content on like ig and twitter i'm i'm able to come out and say i'm gaming yeah you know i mean because of how we're presenting it we're not presenting it with that that stereotype style of hey man we're doing this back end and all that mm. it's something that's going to pop bro culture is becoming something mm. you know i mean how many guys how many you guys come out and identify as guys who watch anime that's yeah. hard <laughs> i'm dead you guys damn you guys like think like we're just like i watch anime my name is melvin i watch anime i've never had an issue identifying as a guy that watches anime hey, bro. Hey. No, but video you know, games anime, anime personally became cool like recently yeah it became cool recently gaming became cool recently okay i know yeah. that i've run into a lot of people that don't watch anime but i've never you don't know that side that is you don't know that side that is you you watch anime no you know you're like you know that is because like man look at this i've been hanging around do watch it but trust me that's something else i guess bro but anime has just always been like the coolest thing like anyone video games yeah. there's very few things that are cooler than that that's what i'm saying you're part of a subculture yeah but for you don't even know you're you part don't know of yeah, so that would be <laughs> <laughs> gaming anime, anime subculture bro. very specific very bro. niche bro, i'm very telling you yeah. you go to like where where would you go you go somewhere and just say you not in your circle but like someone else and say you are a gamer and you watch anime yes yes the tribe will come to you <laughs> they'll come to you and they probably yeah. have specs and wear braces <laughs> damn bro put some respect on our uh, names let's talk about this thing yeah, yeah. I've, i've been i'm trying to figure it out i, I swear i don't understand it the road map yeah the road map tell me about it man uh okay so the road map is basically what i used to use when i'm when i'm planning yeah it helps us gives us direction yeah it helps uh, a road map see what a room can become 10 years 15 years from now this is a long term thing for us by the way uh this is not much we're getting from this brand to be honest even streaming and all that there's no income coming in youtube is not like uh a grind where oh, we're grinding for monetization or something it's more of this is just our platform to document our process I mean, that's how i look at youtube by the way mm. that's where my guys tell me man hey don't you screw at me that i'm like bro put it there for now man you get mm. that money will come later you know because now i'm just looking at this as this just document this process and show people as we build and make it as lit as possible man just make it look cool you know make it look dope so when it comes to that road map i think the first thing that you see is gaming uh gaming is really what we're doing mm-hmm. yeah so you break that down you get into esports also esports is also a big uh it's that's our foundation basically gaming has been that tool that has given us position in the market mm-hmm. so when you look at gaming you then look at where gaming is going that's where media and web3 come in so content creation and streaming and all that falls under media then web3 is basically the next internet so and gaming is a key element when it comes to building the next internet look at things like the metaverse what everyone's mm-hmm. saying gaming, gaming gaming yeah snoop dog one of the top personalities in like the web3 space and nfts recently signed to a gaming org um first clan, gaming what gaming organization oh, okay okay yeah, okay. first clan if you look at the board of directors of these gaming organizations most of these guys are guys who are big on web3 you know guys who are now trying to invest in the next internet so that's why media web3 has a section mm. um commercial real estate now commercial real estate is for example what you see here motive physical spaces physical space that you can have such events mm-hmm. so like a gaming space a ga- yeah. yeah but not just gaming in general the moment you have media and web3 you need studio spaces you need a space like this to shoot such content you know so we have a sen- just opposite here we have some good uh well good partnership with a company and we have some space just opposite motive and that's where we're planning our master plan to create a nice physical location for creatives mm-hmm. and we're cutting across you know so all those things are intertwined yeah. so our media will have a a good location there you know guys can come in create content and do their thing 
Then we can also have our offices there and everything, you know. Yes. Then our uh, unique partnerships. Unique partnerships are how industries to me are created here. Gaming has managed to scale because of the partnerships it's been having. First Clan recently partnered with Man City. If you guys watch the Man City and Liverpool match, yeah. And some man city walking out. They had like face clan thing on their kids. Mm-hmm. That's sick. Okay, that's sick. I didn't notice, bro. Yeah, they did. No, they did. So Lit. such such that's unique partnerships, yeah. Activity. Yeah. Such unique partnerships are what's helping gaming scale. And to me, that's now deep marketing. Bro, gaming has nasty marketing. <laughs> I'll call it that because it's it's super unique and clean. You see such a partnership with a gaming organization and one of the top sports clubs in the world, man goes a long way. But it's beautiful, man. Like, that's that's art to me, <laughs> you know. So that's why unique partnerships is a big section there. Some of the brands I plan to work with at least here. We have worked with Mountain Dew last year. Yeah, I see Mountain Dew here. Yeah, we did some good stuff with them around Code Mobile. Nothing super mainstream because, I mean, the industry is still, like, small and it's the, the market is not as wide. But those that were part of it did feel it. Mm. And um, what else is on the thing? Uh, you have product, uh, product, product development. development. Now, yeah. that's, the, that's the long term. Arudem can become Coca-Cola moving forward. So this is more of now a marketing strategy. If we market this brand for the next 10 years, nothing stopping us from coming out with products. Branching out to other things. Yeah, making products, making actual physical products. You, you know, you, you talked about Web3 yeah. and the metaverse. You guys want to sell like NFTs? How are you breaking into that? Okay, uh, so Web3, I'm mainly approaching it from a digital asset perspective. Yeah, I'm looking at creating digital characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least we're looking at five digital characters. Look at League of Legends, for example. If you've heard of a, a band of theirs called True Damage, mm-hmm. they are digital based band, and their music is in know, their league. Music is crazy. And they play inside of. And there are characters in League itself. Okay. Uh, so th- are they League characters or they created them? They, they are League characters, them. and they actually, you know, Echo in uh, you've watched Arcane. Yeah. Arcane has yeah. Echo. Yeah. So Echo is part of that band. You know, so they use that oh, IP. Echo the is a black kid. Ah, uh, Echo yeah. became a beast, my yeah, lord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Echo grew up and became a yeah, stone yeah. cold. Crazy. My lord. Uh, but now you see that integration, yeah? They've used that one IP, that digital character, and they've branched him into music and he's doing his thing. They've managed to use him in Arcane. So those digital characters, I'm not even looking at NFTs now. I'm looking at the fact that create digital characters and you can use them for anything in the digital space moving mm. forward. And gaming has that foundation, bro. I kind of thought that was a big like vision of NFTs. Uh, we need an NFT guy to just come and explain what was. Yeah, going you on, need right? one, it's, bro. It's okay. It depends on how you're doing it. Yeah. NFTs are not just like make one, sell it, but yeah. you can create, say, like an NFT character, and use it in a game. Yeah. Yeah, you see, that's what I thought yeah. was gonna happen. It yeah. hasn't happened yet. It's, 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 it's happening. happening. Yeah, it is oh, happening, happening now. Yeah. About, like which one? It's happening now. About um, no, I mean, no, I mean uh, for NFTs in particular. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the thing is. Crypto gaming is not yet main mainstream. Yeah. But like in the games people are playing online, for example, there's a game called Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity, yeah. Yeah, you can get your NFT that you've bought and put it in and put it in the game. Yeah. That's and lit. use it in the game. That's but like but, but but Axie as a game, bro, to be honest, it's not appealing, man. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. None of the crypto games right now are appealing to me. Because they're, they're just jumping in that space, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think Riot hasn't jumped in that space yet? Because man, these guys know. Right now, what most of these communities, are, these, these brands are looking for, Axie and all that, they're looking for community, of which Riot has already. Yeah, yeah. So they're not rushing. What, what most of the uh, play-to-earn games right now are looking for is them growing a community, of which communities most of these AAA titles already have. Code mm. has a strong community. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Play-to-earn versus play-to-win. Play-to-earn versus play-to-win. Right now. Uh, right now, to be honest, it's BS. I can't play a <laughs> that's the <laughs> truth. Like it's it's some agenda I guess are trying to push, but mm. uh I'm waiting for what Call of Duty is going to do with crypto gaming. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking I'm looking at a scene where they create a modding game. I know Activision is also going yeah, to yeah, it's doing something, right it's doing now, something so. around crypto. Now for viewers who might not who might have gotten lost there. What yeah. is <laughs> play to yeah. Yeah. What is play to win? So, okay. Play to win is like playing for money. There's no uh play to earn is like playing for money. What did I say? You said play, play to, to earn, earn versus play to win. No, no, no. Pay to win. Pay to win. Oh. Oh. You said pay to, I had play to win. Pay to win is you buy, you buy a cosmetic that has, let's say if you're playing Warzone, yeah? Uh, now like Snoop Dogg, Kama uh, just dropped in Warzone. So you buy that Kama and maybe the gun that's in the, that's in the package is overpowered. So when I use it, it's, 
the most guys who don't have it. You have an advantage. You have, you have so that's yeah. play to oh, win. Okay. That's yeah. play to win. That's like I think in FIFA. That's pay, everything. That's pay yeah. everything. Yeah. So it's most yeah, people pay to games. win. Yeah, yeah. pay to win. But guys have tried to control it. I think Wozen has tried. Because of Jita has tried its best. Because man, the community doesn't want that but still, man. You pay can be yeah. playing Kone yeah. and a guy comes with a gun. So what's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> grain. Grain and get the gun. What's the other one? Play to earn is mostly crypto. Yeah, crypto. Like the more you play, the more you earn. Yeah. Depending on like NFTs. Why did you say versus? I mean, right now, I'd say pay to win is if you put in money, you will win. Getting back that money. You get money if you win. <laughs> Depends you, on the game. You yeah, just but if you're paying pay to, to win, let's play to win, yeah? Uh, Sorry. Pay, uh, pay, to, pay win. to win. Play to win. Yeah. Pay, pay to win. Pay to win. Yeah. Oh. If you're paying to win, you shouldn't be getting any money back. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can, can you if you become yeah, a you bad guy. Huh? You can if you become a bad guy. But you yeah, just that's have what so you pay you like to win to play to win long term. Mm. Yeah, for example, you know this, the the gaming industry isn't easy because even if you're the hardest gamer, you probably won't make that money back. Yeah, it's it depends. You, you have to. Make, it depends on like many things, man. You won't make it back in that game, but you make it back like the other way. It depends on how you of on how you because some guys can say that man I want to become a gamer, but there are other things that you need to do to earn from gaming. Exactly, not just playing the game. Yeah, uh. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like. Pay to win versus play to earn is a thing I want to know from you guys' perspective. Because, mm. for example, you're putting money to the games, yeah? Uh, oh. You get what I mean? Yeah, I get Then what play you mean. to earn is, say, the more I play, the more I earn. Does that make sense? Mm. Like, the yeah. more I spend on that game in terms of, like, time and stuff, the more yeah. money, the more money you earn. Yeah. I think you can compare that too because uh, play to earn, Play to play to win has been a web two gaming thing whereby guys pay money to get like uh cosmetics in game and maybe they have an advantage over other players. Yeah, but that, that had no monetary benefit. Mm. It was more of just this that social aspect of man and better at you, you know, better than you at the game or something mm-hmm. like that. But then uh play to earn is now the way guys are making. It's more or less like I don't like putting it this way, it's like betting. Mm-hmm. You get Crypto gaming is kind of like betting. Uh, I was attending a Twitter space recently around uh, Web3 gaming and most most of the African guys, the concept they have is that put money in this thing, grind this game out, or buy an, buy an NFT, grind this game out, with whatever you have to do, and then start earning as you're playing. Keep earning as you're playing. And guys are starting to, pr- to like push that agenda. But to me, it's yes, it's where gaming is going, but it fucks with the culture, you know? So guys, let's jump into this thing to earn money. You know, you're getting a guy downtown playing Axe Infinity so they can make some money. I mean, it's okay, yeah. but yeah. what cryptocurrency do they pay you in? Is it like a Axe Infinity coin or like? Ethereum? I think some have their coins, but it all goes back. Do they go about to Ethereum or something? Or uh, it depends. All of them have their own coins. Yeah, they have their What's coins. Yeah. No, that's but you, but you, you can, can convert it. You can convert yeah, it you can yourself. Convert it, yeah. yeah, you can buy some Ethereum with it. No, you just swap oh, it. Actual money. You can swap it for Ethereum. Ethereum, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. You can yeah, swap yeah. it for Ethereum. Yeah. Okay, that makes or sense. actual money. Or actual money. Or, yeah, whatever you want to do. The yeah, guys do it here by the new G. Uh, I've heard of uh, there's a platform called, so they're called Guilds, yeah? Mm-hmm. Guilds are like, they give they buy the NFTs for you, then they give that platform away. You, you Because guys can't afford some of these NFTs. So what a guild does, it gives out NFTs and you grind for it. Maybe they have a certain percentage of what you're making. Mm hmm. That's what when I was, you that's say you grind for it, what do you mean? Like you pl- okay, you play, but then you give them a cut of what the you. The more earn. you play, the more the NF- the more value the NFT gains. So I'm not really sure how the mechanics works, yeah, but yeah. what I know is that with the guild in place, this guild in place, you sign up to a guild, yeah, you get to play under the guild. So the guild buys NFTs. Yeah, the ones who can afford the yeah, NFT. they can afford the okay. NFTs. So then they give it, they give you the NFT. You play with that NFT, but what you make, they have like a twenty percent, ten percent. Something mm. of that sort, mm. but I haven't gone deep into it because I feel like the space is too early. I'm just trying to read about it here and there. But guys are doing it even here locally, especially yeah. no, by Northern Uganda is big on tech. I don't really? know why we don't see it, but when you say Northern Uganda, where do you mean? Gulu, what that side? And how, how do you what mean districts? big on tech? Like they have most innovation mm. stuff is that side. Even this like crypto, crypto gaming that side is big. Really? Yeah, they have discords and shit. She, she the guys I don't have in the central. That's lit. That's you guys start like those cool, those cool, those cool events, those robotics events, and guys mm-hmm. from those schools would really create some amazing yeah, stuff. Yeah, and most funding goes through that side. It doesn't reach your side. Really? 
No, I had no idea. You guys have me neither. No, I, I was also shocked, bro. I was shocked. I shocked that most guys in the crypto gaming space. You may find yes some here, but most of the guys that have that knowledge around cryptocurrencies and all that, the app that said, I think because of that gateway, most guys when they're donating to Uganda, they normally look at that side of the country. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it's like that, but bro, I was reading this. Uh, I was reading an article on gaming, and they're talking about part of the reason why gaming is getting so big. It's because that demo is also expanding. Mm. So I want to know, like, who's the say who's like the oldest gamer you've ever met? Like actively playing? Yeah. I mean, guys game at even 40 or something. But unless you mean like competitively. Competitively. You've, Competit- gone, for, you've gone for competitions before, have you? Oh, yeah. But I haven't seen like... Uh, Super old guys. Yeah. yeah. But, but then out there they are. Like some guys are in their 30s and they're still competing. Uh, yeah. I Have thought you? competing was like a young man's sport. And this is the thing. There's some games, not like games like CSGO. I think CSGO, <laughs> <laughs> CSGO <laughs> has like... I think CSGO has some... I don't know if you know this, but CSGO has some... I think 30-year-olds still grinding. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy that 30 years old. Yeah, but, but Call of Duty. You're going to be like 60 years old. Nah, nah, you need to get your Recently, there's like a 75 year old guy. Something like that. Who was a gamer? He has always been a gamer. He has always been posting on YouTube. Is he winning though? But he had like 200 subs. Does then one win? time this young guy posts, he's like, wait, this old guy who has videos for like four years. Right now he has like 300k subs. Guys just went. Just watch all his but game started game. buying him equipment. His views went up by like I don't know, like two hundred percent. That's on a casual side, man. Casual, you can always play, but competitively, man, by twenty-seven, man, you. So yeah. Your reflexes have gone. Eh? Yeah. I watched <laughs> a documentary about, about gaming careers as shit as bro. like again the NFL, bro. Once you. This guy can't feed him, so bro. Look at my <laughs> thumb. <yeah. laughs> my thumb actually has. I got. I, I don't know what happened, but. I'm you have like a bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It came recently because I've been going super hard on some uh, workplace some injuries. Hey. <laughs> 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 no, bro, but gamers are usually like competitive when they're young. I, I watched some documentary about competitive gaming. This was back in Asia again. But like the age range was usually from like really young teens or so like 13, 14. And the oldest guys like 24, 25. Those are like yeah. Old guys super that game old about to retire like 24, 25. Yeah. If you're you retire, you're still man. competitive. What do you think? You think it's because the guy is inspired to the screen for more long or because the games just keep evolving? I think it's like that reaction time. Yeah, your reaction time. time it's man. like a reaction time yeah. thing. Like the same way a football has like a range within the I know responsibilities. Play, a game also has a range and it's short. Yeah, but yeah. most athletes, like they pick at like 28. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Uh, in like different physical, sports. yeah, your yeah, physical yeah, body. body. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just your And I'm actually yeah, like, yeah, there's, there's this myth, yeah, that <laughs> gamers aren't supposed to be buff. Because if you're buff and you have like really tight muscles, eh. yeah, I think they're not as stiff. Yeah. Huh? So most of them are like, man, you have to be a fluid <laughs> guy, bro. <laughs> don't don't do a gym. Don't that's, like race. that's like race car driver. <laughs> that's like race car driver. No, but a serious but car me, driver is working out, bro. I think yeah, but they're cool. all slim. Yeah, the, yeah, the weight, the weight yeah. thing is mm, yeah, yeah. for the car. Mm. Yeah, me that personally, I think competitive gaming is just a bit too much. Mm. Mm. Why, why, why do you say that? I feel like casual gaming for me is it it's because it. you're going to enjoy yourself. No, you guys are raging because of competitive gaming. No, but no, we're, <laughs> but <laughs> no, let me tell you, let me tell you. Hey. We're, we're, we're casual first. Why haven't mm. you been going into like the compet- competitive space? Because it's not sustainable right now. You can't have a team and yeah. big guys and all that. I feel like casual gaming is more long term. Yeah, it's more sustainable long term because esports is basically you owning Chelsea or Manchester. Yeah. Having a team, that means you have to pay players, contracts, and you know it becomes a whole other chain of stuff. Mm. So you have to have good backing. Most of what we do now is super casual. And it, it works because it's just mainly around content and guys yeah. just vibing out and building community around it. I so mean, think about easy. it this way. You know how Kunagwero retired mm. because of his heart thing? Mm. He's now streaming. Yeah, he has he actually has an O called, uh, I think, Crew Esports. Yeah, Crew yeah. Esports. What game does he play? Uh, Valorant, I think. Yeah, Valorant. He Valorant, still plays a bit CSGO. of FIFA. Yeah, FIFA yeah. also. Nah, see how FIFA days, man. So the guys <laughs> are playing FIFA, bro. <laughs> this guy has just been signed. This is called uh, Charito. Chicharito. Chicharito. He has just signed to Complex City. It's a gaming org. Yeah. And he's not even playing FIFA, bro. He's playing. Bro, do you guys remember yeah. Diogo Jota on FIFA during the lockdown? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Neymar plays too bad. Neymar, 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 is a, Neymar is good at uh, CSGO also. Mm. But you see now where the FIFA thing is dying. Where not Top athletes playing FIFA. Top yeah, that level. That's my thing. Because the Premier League for them, they had a FIFA tournament. Yeah, yeah. They had the E-Premier League. They had yeah. a huge tournament, bro. It's falling, off. Themselves. it's falling off culturally, bro. It's not working. It's just not working. And the EA issues and all that. Mm. 
And the fact that you don't have that social aspect to it, yeah, it doesn't work. Because my guys doesn't. want to play. Guys don't play games because they want to play games. Guys play games because my boys are jumping on. Uh, mm. Anthony Davis was playing with... Now look at those guys of Anthony Davis, LeBron, who those guys, yeah? None of them are playing. The games they play was on, bro. Because there's that social element, mm. you know? Literally, uh, Lakers, yeah, when they are when they are this thing, when that this bubble, what is it called? I forget the name, but during that time of the NBA, during the, the bubble, lockdown, yeah, the NBA bubble, yeah, yeah. The NBA, yeah, they literally had portable PS4s playing goals on. That was a thing. No 2K, no what. So you ask yourself, man, what, what are guys playing now? What's like culturally rela- relevant? Who, yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. So other than code, what other games would you consider playing? No, me, I play Call of Duty only because, man, that's what I can allow myself to play because my game can get addictive. And a lot of, you know, building Navi is outside gaming. Mm. Yeah, you can't build a rhythm of playing games 24-7. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I had to limit myself in terms of playing. I was like, man, if it's code, that's it. How I long, don't have any other game on my PC. How long do you play for a day? Uh, okay, normally how my day runs, um, during day I can't at all. Yeah, I can't even though I'm home, I can't play. So I'm doing some work, doing some research and things of that sort. Then uh around nine that's when I can jump on. Nine to like one or nine to like midnight. Daily. Daily. So this thing is it like has to be uh, daily. Because the thing is if 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 I stopped and focus only on the business, yeah, I would lose that connection in the community. Mm-hmm. You get I'll become that guy that they just hear of. For me to like be one with a community and at least be that guy that these guys still see as oh, this is our boy, yeah, this is our guy. I have to be there, bro. The moment I step out, that connection dies. And every time you <laughs> play, you post. Yeah, yeah most by most times when I'm playing, it's intentional. I don't like and it's live, and I don't stream it. Okay. Yeah, but I plan to start streaming at thirty. There's a strategy behind it, but that I plan to start streaming at like thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad. That's nice. That's mad. that's my but strategy. Also, that's a good business model because you can yeah. use internet during the day, man. Any yeah. particular reason why thirty? Th- yeah, yeah, that's okay. The strategic reason behind streaming at thirty and going full scale is because. One out to build my audience during this time. Gaming is a certain thing and the audience isn't there right now. And also internet and all those other issues. By then I hope things would have changed. Okay. But mainly it's it's audience based. I kind of want to give people a reason to come in and watch. Most guys start streaming without a strategy and they end up getting frustrated and it's hard, bro. Streaming whether it is it's real time, man. Stuff, yeah. It's real time. So yeah. you can't balance balance it with other stuff. So in the meantime I'm building this I'm building a, a rhythm and uh I think by 30, I should be, have enough time and room to, and also value to tell people, bro. And so I'm educating myself in the meantime, what? So, yeah. But if you look at how we sustain this thing, because I feel like that's something other guys may want to know, you know, because sustaining gaming isn't an ordinary thing or sustaining mm-hmm. this craft. Mm-hmm. Um, when I looked within my gaming community and the guys I had, most of these guys had skills that, um, that you could apply in an agency. Yeah, so the sustainable mode around Navi Arudem is the agency model we have within. Yeah, mm-hmm. we work for a group of companies, and uh, that's how we are able to make it on a monthly retainer, basically. So that enables us have that that room and that that gap of oh, we can play these games, but at least we have something we are making. Mm-hmm. So most of most gamers are like designers, animators, what? So just looking within those guys, are like, hey man, what? What do you do? Yeah. How can you help a company? Yeah, how can you help a company? How can you make some money? Because right now I can't make money off the brand, literally. Mm-hmm. Even content, bro. Like, we can't, we're not yet that fine views. Like, this thing is still young, you know? But then I have to sustain guys who do editing. Mm. You know, I have an editing team of about four people. You get, but how do you sustain those guys? Things of that sort. So, me and I looked at it, I was like, you know what? This form a, an in house agency. So, we privately work for a company. I can't disclose the name because it's an in house thing. But, um, that's the service we render, and that retainer facilitates the work, the work, the gaming Very stuff, dope. events, and all that gear, and you know, Very even just dope. paying people to be part of the company. Mm. So we even got us a space. There's a the studio space we're developing. Well, yeah, it was because of that deal. You know, we wouldn't get any of deal. that if we didn't have like that model. Mm. You can't come around and say, "Man, I'm gaming and I'm making money and it's sustaining me." Mm-hmm. Zero, it's not Facts. applicable, bro. Facts. So yeah. I respect that, man. Yeah, that's crazy. It sounds to me like you really got into this gaming thing for business. Like you're yeah. trying to see how we can monetize yeah. the gaming industry. I mean, everything at scale has that monetary aspect to mm. it. Like you, you, you can do something. With, yeah, you f- it's fun and everything, and you're doing it. But how do you sustain it? Mm. How am I going to tell people's 
uh, you know, like uh, kids and their parents that, hey man, send your kid over and let him play, you know, for nothing, for nothing, mm. without. But most of the guys that are within the community are the ones I'm super close to. I'm always on them and like, guys, how are we going to make, how are you going to sustain yourself, you know? Most of the guys are coming to me for like streaming advice and we build a model. One of our streamers is in Canada. It's called uh, Strike. Yeah, he's at least he streams daily on YouTube. We literally have been working that journey together to see how he can become something, you know? And he's, and he's making his moves slowly, you know? But it's key because it's not a matter of you just jumping on, going live and playing. It's hard, man. But any, I think even this, even like this podcast, Someone would ask you how you guys what's what's your long term plan mm. to sustain this moving forward? Because guys are sort of gaming stuff and they don't last like fall off. Yeah, they, they fall off. They don't have week. that monetary aspect. Yeah. That they're not thinking of. Yeah. But I focus a lot of the business. That's why during my day to day I can I may not get ta- time to play any other game. I confine myself around Call of Duty because that's the only time I have. You know, if I get into other games and maybe I'm spending eight hours playing, man. <coughs> Everything falls apart. Everything falls apart mm. within like a few years. Okay. So it's key to look at the business. Mm. And that's how these orgs have made it. First clan and all that business. Okay. Most guys are like investing even in the gaming, yeah. The big guys now like uh Stephanie McMahon, uh mm. WWE, mm. she she's a stakeholder in Fez. You know, such big personalities, bro. But I should tell you something. That gaming is is a place people are looking at big time. Yeah, but I told you man, estimated to sixty bill in twenty twenty five. Mm. From gaming, that is crazy. But bro. is Africa contributing to that? Or That's like my question. It. Yeah, we've been like contributing because uh. they say like esports is a billion dollar industry. But I'm like, where are the billions? W- how how much of that billion is coming Afri- here? Yeah, it's coming. No, you're coming from here. Mm. You know, like how much are we in that ecosystem? Of that billion or not? So yeah. it's still an uncertain space. Let me ask. What would be? So you see how you said what are, what the guys contributed. What do you think would be the ideal way for? Say companies here to get involved in, in gaming. An ideal way would be with working with either. They would have to come in with this model of this is something growing. It, does, it hasn't yet grown because gaming is at mainstream. Uh, Mountain Dew came in, but they didn't have that mainstream audience. Yeah, but companies have to appreciate that this is a tool they can use to and grow with, you know, with time. So when I look at how gaming is growing and where it's going, if a company jumps on now, it's a bet they have to place and willingly just, you know, grow with it. So they can come in and be like, okay, let's sponsor Navi. So when they sponsor us, it helps us push out more content, push out more quality content, or even pay players to go participate in tournaments. Recently, I went to Nigeria, uh, what, two weeks back. Mm. Uh, we're putting out a video on that, I think, Saturday or tomorrow. So such a Nigerian trip, I was expected to go with that team. You yeah, had to go to that team and participate in that tournament. But because obviously the fans and everything, I can't carry a team from here and buy mm. tickets and all that and accommodate mm. and all that stuff to go there. So a brand will come on like Martin and be like, you know what, okay, let's do that for let's you. Let's send the team. Yeah, let's send the team and let's partner. Oh, let's come on as a sponsor, something like that. We work out a partnership. You guys make sure you create the content and we have that brand visibility, something like that. Um, yeah, you said you went to Nigeria, so to take us back. Mm. What is that place like? Because we hear so many stories. <laughs> right? What What is that place like? Ah, uh, Lagos, bro. Nigeria is to be honest, it's not what I expected. Like what the airport, yeah. Uh-huh. Man, I don't know if this. Will, do you think they'll have backlash or anything? I don't know. This <laughs> 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 experience. This your experience. <laughs> bro, the airport is eh. It's trash. It's trash, man. Nah. Is it worse than no? I heard that there's so many people trying to haggle you for cash. Is yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think even the video tomorrow you'll see. It. Literally, when I just stepped out, yeah. Everyone's guys, everyone was asking, guys are pulling me left, right. They may help you, they may help you. That shit, it's crazy. <laughs> Some guys was like, man, I, don't, I have money, you can transfer dollars, what? Hey, Literally the, at the airport. Oh, they, they do like that uh, currency exchange where the guys had a lot of cash. Uh-huh, and it's only like a bundle, bro. bro. <laughs> 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 you the bundle, yeah. you go by bus. And the bribes are crazy, because even just someone, li- there was a lady that helped me um uh, locate the washrooms. She asked me, hey, anything for the weekend? I was like, man, come. <laughs> 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 Nothing is for free. You know, like it's just by yeah, the bribes are crazy. Because I remember we went, we almost missed our flight because uh. we got there a few minutes late. Like when we were coming back here, for us to get back in the system, yo, we yeah. had to bribe. Right. I think each of us had to pay about a hundred dollars, but Check. the host, the host paid it for us. For about three people. Some guys were going to Tanzania. Then me, two guys were going to Tanzania. Me, I was coming here. Bro, had to bribe everything. They refused you to, to even just them. helping you fill in that form. Those guards. Anything like bro, it was tight. That's crazy. But it's does crazy. the gaming culture seem different there? 
from here? Um, maybe it's moving faster, I would say. But the difference isn't so big. My Africa are more of like on that same level. Yeah, yeah, but also I think Nigerians, it's slightly different with Nigerians because then they are more willing to invest in things that haven't popped off yet. Yeah, and I think Nigeria is, I think this is my analogy when I look at Nigeria. It has, uh, their private sector is what's thriving, Yeah, but their government is really doing bad. Uh, like if you look at some of the roads that are being done by guys like Dangote, who, mm-hmm. you know, you look at the musicians there, man, you can see that up there. But yeah. when you go there and look at the country, it's I don't know. Is it? Is it? I don't know how the the economy is, but it's not, it's not, it's not the best. It's, isn't it number <laughs> it's one there. Yeah. Mm? in Africa? It's, no, it's the fastest growing. The fastest growing. Fastest growing. Number yeah. one is still South. Mm. Anyway, there might be a lot of money, but I see, but I see, but I see a lot of money moving. It's mainly it's come within the private but guys. I think yeah? we can pull that one now. It's Nigeria. Pull it up. Pull it up. I know, like last check it was the fastest anymore. growing, but not yeah. the biggest. I mean, last check the biggest. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so. But I know their private sector is doing well, bro. They have like nice hotels and they have satellite cities and all that. Have you guys been to Entebbe and seen what they're doing there? With what? Uh, Marina or something. Oh, Marina. So they have like they have like three of those or something. Yeah, a bunch. Yeah. No, with the luxury, that's for sure. They definitely have a lot of. But those are private guys, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but guys who are like, no more guys in town, man. She is in car, man. Yeah. But that roads are dope, man. That roads are good. And I was just in Lagos, and Nigeria is big, so you can't tell. But mm. good place, but hot though, man. Very <laughs> 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 hot at that time, yeah. Yeah. And like even at night, you you'd expect to walk out and there's a breeze, nothing. 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 And we're next to like a lake or something. Those guys are close to Sahara, right? Um. The Sahara yeah, is on that's yeah, up there. Yeah. 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 There's a so heat wave that they have a constant. Bit. I might die a little bit. Have mm. you pulled it up? Yeah. What is it, Nigeria? Yeah, just overtook South Africa. But that's in terms of GDP. GDP per capita, South Africa is still dozens up. Yeah. Nigeria yeah. is a beast yeah. when it comes to economic output. You but guy. SA, what do you guys think of SA, man? Isn't it? Man, you even forget that it's part of Africa sometimes. I don't believe it's so <laughs> long, about bro. Egypt and the north, bro. About Egypt. If you forget it, I just remember it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I haven't been to either of those places in too long, you guys. I haven't been to the north ever. But I say I have no opinion right now. I haven't been mm. to the north. But it's a, from the stories we hear, man, it seems like there's a lot going there, a lot mm. going on, like good and bad. Yeah. They have a lot of issues and also a lot of good things. So I guess same like everywhere else. Same as Nigeria, I guess. Yeah, everywhere else. Yeah. Mm. Voice, do you have any 10 over 10 today? <laughs> yes, I do. You had it on the yes, screen. I do. Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> 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 like, but yeah. could you guys talk about the, the, the second biggest channel in Africa on YouTube is a gaming channel. Is it? It almost has like 10 M subs. Which one? Which one? Nigeria. Is it? What's Nigeria. it called? I, I could you pull it up? What's it called? Let's see. What's it called? They're like two bros or something. I think it's, it's with gaming, yeah? Gaming is yeah. wide. Mm-hmm. Gaming is super, super wide. Uh. Gaming is like sports. Not like just basketball and things. So gaming is wide. You find bus. It's like sports when you look at basketball, NBA. So there's a lot that goes on within us that someone may not even know. Yeah. You know, not like such a channel, but I think it just pass because you're focused maybe on a particular section. Maybe before you're just focusing on the Premier League. Mm-hmm. But then when you look at the industry, you're looking at NFL, NBA, what? So there's so much going on because of that. The depth of the industry, but 10M subs is crazy. Yeah, yeah, man, it's, it's a like gaming game channel, bro. But YouTube, and, but to me, YouTube, yeah, the like YouTube grind. I don't know if it started with gaming, I don't know, but okay, they start with gaming, but gaming was one of those things people were doing. I think next to being a YouTuber, gaming is uh, the next go to job for most guys out there. Mm. I think, I don't know, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's hard that start mm. after. Mm. Like after being a YouTuber, yeah? yeah, gaming is the next. Like streaming, in terms of like what jobs and like careers, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I heard that most yeah, children yeah. in the US wanted to be Want, yeah. YouTubers, YouTubers or gamers. Oh, I, I would have yeah, been surprised if gamers were second yeah. place there. But yeah. also, I thought it was like in in early YouTube, a lot of the biggest YouTubers were, were gamers. gamers. Yeah, I think you're all those guys like um, oh, Mr. Beast and all that. Smosh games. Yeah, yeah. gaming was a thing, man. I don't, but I know what happened. It fell off for some time. I started to pick up. But it was an OG thing that most OG YouTubers They must have done to something in the algorithm yeah. too. The, it's called Switch Born it to Kill. Born to Kill. Eight mil subs. The Born guy is Tunisian. I hate mil. It's Tunisian. It's Tunisian. Tunisian yeah. 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 What Tunisia. game does he play? I'm seeing Garena Free Fire. Much does like commentary or something like that. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, maybe yeah, commentary. Yeah. And it does mostly Free Fire and Call of Duty. Yeah. Okay. That's wild. Eight million subs. Yeah. But who's subbing? Who's those eight million guys? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel like in no, I feel like man. guys can't hear. 
<laughs> Wait, my question to you guys who's watching these guys like this is 8 million subs that none of us knew of yeah, yeah. do you think this is Africa because I don't no, think bro. Africa has I think 8 a, a million lot of those, a lot of those North African countries are very proximate to Europe bro so it's most likely like a bunch of French guys and mm. a bunch of guys in India yeah. or what <laughs> very very Mother, give me what is, you can't yeah. shoot and get some random and he's audience. Tunisian Tunisian, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like Tunisia, Algeria. Big, yeah, but if you look at his audience, no one local. Mm. Like only five guys are from Ghana. The rest are from overseas. Mm. You know? yeah, that's I think West Africa is kind of different because they have a huge diaspora and community. Mm. I don't know if I would say a scene for Tunisians. Well, yeah, I, I would say most of their things are from Asia. Most of their... Yeah, yeah, most but if, if, if you look at yeah. Twitch, yeah, most guys were watched and um, it has guys who have like big views and all that. But then there are guys from these third world countries who are doing good. Like they even up there. Mm-hmm. When when you when you look at like the top tweet streamers, you're going to see s- most guys from the West, mm-hmm. the United States and all that. Mm-hmm. But they're guys who are tripling their views. But then random countries, bro. And India, they're not mentioned. What? They're not mentioned. They're not mentioned because they're not like um I would say they don't have any how should I put it? Brands don't look at them as value, yeah. I know was it like one of those pages where it's not an individual? Like, what's that Indian page we looked at the other day? Yeah, that one with the Bollywood shit. <laughs> <laughs> it can be one guy like streaming, that. can be one guy yeah. streaming, and he has like, let's say, uh, 20,000 guys watching him. But then he's. Um, brands are not looking at that space. Mm. Or like brands. And then also. Like Argentina, bro. Argentina has some big, big streamers. Uh-huh. But you'd find the guys who they're recommending are only guys from. The United States. Oh, yeah, I think of, of language yeah. and uh-huh, stuff language. Like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So but some guys don't like. Also, what I know is I it heavily you. depends on your on your community, because you'll find yeah. a guy has like three hundred viewers, but those three hundred viewers are pushing his. Jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They push and they are also giving him money. Mm. Yeah. But now you twenty k. Eh. It's those mm. demographic things we're talking about. With you, yeah. yeah, where like the American view costs more than the Ugandan. Uh uh-huh, something, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So again, Argentina man, a brand like Pepsi would be like, yes, guys, getting. 200,000 guys tuning in, but, but they're all in Argentina. They are not speaking yeah. English, they're yeah. speaking, you know, ah, they like, nah, they have no money. Let them get a guy who's getting like maybe, you know, 2K, something like that. But and they're well, 2K guys are getting deals, by the way. Mm. Really, but that guys thrive off like subs mm. and things like that. Mm. So I think everyone makes their money at the end of the day, but you'd want to see maybe more those guys making something also. Man, I have 2,000 people sitting watching me, yeah, for like. Five hours straight. Yeah, they'll watch everything that I do. Five hours straight. Yeah. That's crazy. But streaming is a grind, man. That's why I'm like, hey, when yeah. you commit to streaming, yeah, it's not easy. My boy, yeah. man, who streams on YouTube, you could see it takes a toll on him, you know? The day is where he just, eh. Breaks it down. Yeah. But when you say streams, that means a guy's doing like two hours plus. Yeah, yeah I think he, he, he's, he know my, most of his streams are like seven hours. Jesus Christ. How often does he stream? Uh, he, he was doing it daily, crazy. but now they said it's cool. Like during COVID, he was doing it daily. But I think he's resuming uh, this. He took a break for like two weeks. Now he's g- they have holidays. I think summer, something like that. So he's going back to that grind. That's hard work. Gaming bro. streams are never seven short. Yeah. That is hard yeah. work. They're never short. Should be easy to but get seven that hours is also. Seven hours are long, bro. Seven hours is long. We started doing this. I don't know if you've seen it yet. We started doing like a segment called 10 over 10. 10 over 10. started recently, maybe. I haven't watched like the... The recent episodes. Yeah. Yeah, but on my timeline now. Um, where the voice asks us ten questions and guys just give their opinions on them. All right. Yeah. So cool. that's, that's okay then. So that's the right. voice, let's go. Right. After last week, man, we've got easier questions. Did you put time. them in the oh you cut them? Uh, uh some that had to be <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. but yeah. Uh, let's start it off. Uh, all of you guys have taken borders in your life, right? Oh. Uh-huh. How do you guys feel about holding the border guys west? <laughs> <laughs> the border guy's west. <laughs> you know when they tell you like hold the guy. He's Bro, he's I'd rather guy. die. <laughs> 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 if you find out there, that's why. Guys, can I tell you a story about judges, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And why these days I have so much phobia. Uh-huh. Bro, I don't these days when I'm if there's no self border, I'm I'm out. Uh-huh. I don't even order the, I just have to see a self border guy. Yeah. When I was getting my COVID test on Yusuf Ulule, yeah, that's next to Garden City. Um the judge guy is outside like the COVID test section, mm-hmm. but they judge me like what? Three K what? 5k, I was like, ah, nah, I was going to Acacia. So, I got a girl, was just, you know. Moving. Eh, bro, that guy almost killed me. How? Eh, he made some stupid turn, yeah? Uh. And then there's this truck that just didn't want to know, bro. She wasn't ready to stop. 
But you know what saved me? I think it wasn't saved me, to be honest. It helped me because I saw that car coming, yeah, and in my head I was like, it normally happens a lot in game where by guys run you over, so uh-huh. you normally have to act quick and jump. Guys, I jumped off that chair. It looked like a... <laughs> It hit that guy, bro. Hey, fuck. It hey. hit that guy. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> 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 no, but it hit that guy. But he's, I think he was called, but it, that truck hit him. He was like <laughs> <laughs> that truck killed, that truck ran him over, but he'll be okay. <laughs> no, he was called. He was called. But he got yeah. down by the way, but you could see him getting up. He was in pain. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Because, man, I was literally with him. You bro. are going. I was literally with him. But what helped me was that he had turned like this. So I was. I you know where I'm moment, by my leg right now. I still feel the pain. Damn. In there, but I jumped. Oh, this up. was recent. This was recent because I traveled like uh, two weeks back. Damn, bro. Yeah, but again, what helped me was that there was no car coming from this side. Allah. You get no, this guy. This guy had already stopped. Yeah, this guy had already stopped to let us go, but then this guy was just coming. Calm it was. It was. It was sad for him. <laughs> but <laughs> no, no, it was super sad. But the thing is, yes, he didn't read it. Yeah, but me, I read the thing. I was like, you can't pass <laughs> there. You just damn. can't pass there. Maybe they damn, want to let damn, his damn, judge damn, go. Man. Well, well, I can't hold hmm. you, man. Every time I'm on a border, I have at least one near death experience, man. It's, it's crazy. crazy. That's why I don't use them that much anymore, you guys. But every single time, someone will almost hit us. But guess what? Their guys, <laughs> ca- their guys were close because they could see they're literally just next to the incident. You could see them. I think they need, no, their heads like, are like, man, Lord. they ain't getting cheap judges. Wow, you should yeah. have come to us. Because <laughs> 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 I literally told them, man, 5K are top out. I was like, let me get this guy who's moving. How much does this guy charge me? This guy charge me what? 2K? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, cheap Damn. things, man. Cheap magic. things, bro. Come on. That day I was like, man, cheap things. I know, mm-hmm. Yeah. Cheap. Magic. Uh, no, 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 I wouldn't hold that. The body is always. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. this. I've been yeah. ready I've I've, I've to jump off, bro. I didn't hold it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hold that. I hold that back. I hold that thing at the back. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I also put that. I think it's hell uncomfortable. But are you parents scared with you guys? I know it's. Don't they, don't they like, say something? <laughs> yeah, of course they're not comfortable with it, but then like, what are they going to do? If I yeah. use a judge, I'll use it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, Number two, UK YouTube versus US YouTube. That's a question for these two guys. Why not you? Uh, Actually, let me master it first. You're funny, me, I'm not really a YouTube guy like that, man. I just watch what I watch. But all I'll say is I'm not... I'm not too big on like the American YouTubers. Why? I know, like, I know like the UK guys. I know who are your favorite those, YouTubers. I know it's Chunks and Philly guys. Yeah. My favorite YouTubers are like podcasters, bro. So yeah, I'm not really too big on on. There's a guy in the room who has a new from America. There's a guy in the room who has a new vlog. You know him? Who? Some guy in the room who has a new vlog. Hey, oh yeah, that guy is my very pod- hey. my very YouTube actually. <laughs> Ugandan YouTube is my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually on Ugandan YouTube for, for, for real. the most part. Yeah, yeah. Mm. was the it popping off? Like, oh, my, I don't popping, watch a lot of YouTube, bro. but I know it's guys are doing the most there. Yeah, yeah. guys are grinding yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have the we have the Schnacks guys, and we have Raymond Kahuma, and we yeah. have Pengisha, and we have Kabesti and Yomi. But let me yeah. ask, what's 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 like what's yes, the scale? Bro. What's the what? What's them at scale? Do you what? see like big partnership deals happening and all that? For sure, for sure, for Where sure. Because sure. le- then they have legitimate communities, bro. It's different from, I think YouTube in the past has just been for like musicians. Yeah, yeah that stuff. Yeah, 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 bro. But now guys have NTV. Like what? when you go to the comments, so you'll find a video that has okay, let's say it has like one k views. Yeah. But then you have like a hundred comments. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That type of interaction. It's man. crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, An it's intentional the, interaction. I think, if anything, that interaction has actually kind of gone down on YouTube. You in think my so? Opinion. Yeah, over there. Like for UG? Oh, for UG yeah, particular. UG, UG YouTubers. Is, is, is that oh, no, no. About? Definitely it's going up. Because going up. UG, UG YouTubers brands jumping in. Thing. Yeah, it wasn't well, You see brands jumping in. One thing, one issue I have with brands, yeah, because I've worked like with two. Um, The issue I have is that they don't give you creative control, yeah? Especially mm. the ones here. Like, their politics reigns over you in terms of how you yeah, execute. Yeah, yeah. I worked with a company, I don't want to disclose the name, but the project didn't even go well. Some of these projects here, I was supposed, mm. to, work, I was supposed to do to the brand and things like our money came in about 18 million, something like that, to like fund the whole project. But I got frustrated in terms of how they were handling me. Yeah? They were handling this gaming thing as if it's child's play and, yeah. you know, I'm asking them for meetings, they're sidelining me, that, mm. you know. And just tell me things out of the blue. Hey, do this. I think you should do this. Come into like random yeah, stuff, yeah. you know. So I was like, man, guys, nah, it's not working. That's the biggest challenge we're facing, man. Just being taken seriously. But I think with a lot of these brands, man, you have to take yourself seriously first. A hundred percent, yeah. So it's just a question of guys saying no. Yeah. 
and you know it's saying this is the way we were, we're trying to do it. And I think um, Shari and Ethel talked about it on their, one of their last videos. Just mm. like, you have to be clear with these guys that you're working with. Yeah. This is my vision. You either support this vision. Or not, yeah. Mm. But if you now start changing it completely, then we just can't work together and that's that. Man. Yeah. And growing, I think you've also growing your, like your bargaining, it's your negotiation power. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys are desperate, especially with like this creator grind. Yeah. YouTube, you can get super desperate and uh, you need the just money. Just take whatever deal. Yeah, take whatever, whatever deal. deal yeah. So instead of, I think, because deal brands are coming in and all that, but this is the best time for someone to grow that power and not depend on, they need, mm. you need sustainable plans. Because uh, yeah, a brand will come in and be like, man, we're giving you five million. You sell out for some household gig mm-hmm. and it doesn't do you well. So yeah. yeah. But me, uh, I think it comes to YouTube of, uh, you said uh, the UK US versus UK. US. Um, I think I watch more, watching my watch more of the States because I see them being, they drive culture in a sense. UK's culture is local. If you look at the Premier League, yeah? Look at the Premier League and uh, the NFL. Mm. Mm, that's a bad that's a bad example no 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 don't look at it in that sense yeah. of soccer and yeah. football no no, no not yeah. that i'm just talking about like the cultures in the games yeah look at the guys what okay let me use nba and the premier league uh. huh? <laughs> look at the nba right nba has that dope aspect to it and everything like it's fly yeah, yeah it's super crazy but when you come to premier league man these guys are traditional you know guys watch these games you find you know guys have that culture it's more of like a tradition I think Americans just have hip hop, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, just too, it's just too big. Yeah, it's that's the culture is so big. Yeah. So yeah. I vibe with it more. I vibe yeah. with it more because like it's more relatable to me than that. Guys true. have their traditions, bro. True. Yeah, and a few teams now, like a few teams are actually breaking out. Man City, I think, is doing a good job there. They're getting into like nasty spaces, NFT. Yeah, the ones with foreign ownership, I guess, yeah. and foreign management. And I think we're getting like guys like Luke Hamilton and owning yeah, Chelsea. Yeah. You, you start getting out that spice. But most of the owners have been, you know, dated guys, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> magic. Um, for me, between those two, part, those two UK and UK US, US, I go with US YouTube. US YouTube is crazy, bro. Like mm. the stuff they're doing in the US, it's like they have no laws there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the stuff the YouTubers no be doing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what you guys hear about the YouTubers who got arrested? The ones who they spent a night in a Target for content. They arrested mm. them. A couple, <laughs> a YouTube couple. It's crazy, man. They got that arrested. Wait, what? A YouTube couple or a TikTok couple? Bro, all I know is that they got arrested. The thing is that, that just happens all the time. And, and then they'll swooped. vlog their arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Could think it's staged just a few views. Serious shit, though. Yeah, they are being sued for like serious money. You guys, something like three million dollars or something. Yeah. Mm. For staying in overnight, like, bro. Yeah, it's for the views, you will learn. For the views, for the <laughs> views. <laughs> 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 but, but looking at YouTube, yeah, man, YouTube, uh, YouTube, in that long, long, long term sense, yeah, guys, it look at it as a business and not just, you know, casual, casual grind. Because I see stuff that Mr. Beast is doing, man. It's not, it's not stuff you do just for the views anymore, man. Like there is a solid business plan behind that guy's moves, mm. you know. I don't know how many local creators like guys in UG. Obviously, I know it's so early to look into where that guy is, but start implementing some of those models and look at building brand versus just wanting to be famous and all that. I don't know, man. The brand, the brand route, you kind of become become sustainable moving forward. Yeah, yeah. And Beast has a, but that guy's a formula, bro. It's thick. The guy is. Competing with Silicon Valley, bro. Take are big fans of his. Yeah, man. I've never watched. A w- I've never watched a single video. Do you know? Have I watched a video? One. By the way, I don't think I have. Yeah. I missed a Beast video. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Never let me see. have. I think I've watched one or How? two. But I watched them because of Raymond. By the way, uh, I was trying to. I was scared of his formulas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cracked that code. <laughs> <laughs> you bleep that out. <laughs> I have to bleep that out. Yeah. My bad. Bro. My bad. <laughs> no, but okay. I just got interested from that sense because when yeah. I saw his moves on, you know, March and everything. Yeah. Man, few guys see that stuff, mm-hmm. but that stuff is what may not work now, but long term it works. You, you you can cut that out, by the way. No, 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 I, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but do you do you, do you what's it, but do you like? Is it something you're kissing? How how do yeah, you yeah. how do you look at it? <laughs> okay, so for me this is uh, it's like I try to not I try to learn from where they're coming from to make those decisions, which is kind of what you said. Yeah. 
So something like much would be I wouldn't be looking at it as like much but what you said more like intellectual property no, her IP and radioactive everything. like That's it. That's the sales it. won't be as crazy because Uganda and like just Africa in general isn't like very spendy on like you <laughs> if if Mr Beast has to convince the audience is less, yes is, if Mr Beast has to convince the audience to buy like a shirt Mm. You have to do like a lit video to buy a shirt. You have to do like 20 here. Mm -hmm. So you won't make crazy money like that or instantly, but there is intellectual property to be like made. Yeah. So I'm trying to learn from like the best, where they come from to make those decisions. Yeah. So these dudes will have, they'll do a vlog. They'll have a brand sponsorship, push their match in the same vlog and also tell guys to like buy an NFT or something. Like they'll push like four different things, the same video with that Squid Games video Mm -hmm. of Mr. Beast. Mm Mm-hmm. Brad nigga push like six watch that thing by that, different yeah. <laughs> yeah so basically yeah to answer yeah. Your, it's like I'm trying to go heavy on intellectual property which is like what you said yeah. brand, building like a brand, a brand uh-huh, yeah, yeah. yeah so and I'm learning from those guys yeah. it's good stuff man I, I see depth in that bro that's that Thanks. depth is needed bro Thanks. creators need Thanks. it here Thanks. the creator the voice 2.0 you know mm. hey. hey bro mm-hmm. number three would you rather work no more work no more office hours or longer hours from home Home, you mean like working from home? And You're working like 15 hours from home. Yeah. Versus like eight in the office. My mind, my Am mind. I making more from working from home? That's your point. Yeah? <laughs> it's the same money. Because it's the same money. Then give me the office hours. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 15 hours is a long ass day, bro. 15 hours is like at what? If let's say you started at, uh, you start at seven. What time are you sleeping? Seven to seven again is 12 hours. So plus three. Nine, ten, yeah, fifteen no, hours, bro. Seven to ten. Yeah, I think I'd rather do. Wait on your home. There's I no commute. Do Just do work. Those, wake up and yeah, work. Yeah, wake up and work. I'd rather do those eight. I think I'd rather do the nine to five thing. Because yeah. also, uh, maybe it's also a question of productivity, man. Just yeah. when one particular place is associated with work, mm. you're most likely to get more done. Yeah. Was working from home where it can get a bit complicated, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting out of bed, bro. <laughs> 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 you have to fail it's against your heart, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, man. But then I think I would work from... Hmm. It depends also on what I'm doing, you know? Yeah. It depends on what you're doing because when... Uh, if you're working, normally how I think modern work structures have become their deliverable based, yeah? It's not about how many hours you're putting into the thing, but yeah. what have you actually, what's your output? But me personally, if I'm working from home, yeah, I can go those 15. 15? Hey. Bro, not 15 is... It's crazy, man. From what time to what time? We said if, if you're starting from 7 a.m., what time are you sleeping? But you can do the 15 in chunks. 7 a.m. Not 10 p.m. I'm doing 15 in 10 chunks. 10 p.m., yeah? yeah. <laughs> 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah. That's a Because bear, my schedule is close to that. Yeah, you Yeah, Yeah, because like I'm, I'm here like normally. My guy who picks me, picks me from... He comes from... Uh, I think Boy or Boy Gary, somewhere there. He's at my home by like 6 that. So from there, we come here to like 8... Why we live at eight? Cause man, the traffic in town here is crazy. crazy. Commuting from here to Nagoro at six, man, you may end up preaching at eight. So we leave this place at eight, but then we kind of push it after. Mm. Yeah, so it's kind, it's mad. It mm. works. Nah, now you said me. Yeah. Give me the, what yeah. do you guys do on like today, Friday? What are you guys going to do? Hey. Like on a Friday after this, what, what's the plan? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> get, get yeah, yeah, man. Uh, my bishop oh, clowns tonight. Yeah. <laughs> my bishop clowns, man. Shoe clowns, shoe clowns. Take us and shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, could we? We could. We we could be going out today. Know. I don't know. Me as I know, but I'm actually not really sleep. feeling it like that today. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know, it, neither mind. But as low yeah. doesn't low kind of push you to those fifteen hours. It can. It can, bro. It can, but it's not a, crazy. It's not a. It's not necessarily permanent. So you'll have periods where you're extremely busy, and you yeah, have yeah, more yeah. chilled out periods. But it's a dope. It's a dope. It's a dope job once you land it, man. Um, but a bit, yeah. but I like Lego stuff, man. The knowledge, yeah. what, but yeah. they never lie to us in the, in the movies, man. They lie to us. <laughs> <Mom shit. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Badly, badly. I think when they start making realistic low movies, eh, yeah, guys will just stop yeah. making. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we ask too boring. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to right. read your whatever with a like, uh, with a book that's hard copy with gold letters. That's right. realistic <laughs> low, but no one wants to watch that. Would you do a retainer or would you, how would you how would you how would you charge someone? It really depends, man. It really, really, of course, you charge according to the client. Yeah. Some clients would prefer to pay a retainer. Some, mm. it's just like one-off jobs. So really I think more to the hours, would you guys like work at night or you do people? <laughs> um, How do I what? How do you charge? Charge for what? Could you talk about like, how, the 
the whole time you were talking, I was thinking, bro, if I if I'm a kid watching this podcast, <coughs> what can I take away from how you charge people or like is there money to be like no, what, how exactly like do you talk gaming. to these people? What do you offer them like, like in gaming? Yeah, you mentioned visibility. What ex- how do you talk to these people to ask them for money? Like the companies. Like the companies. Um right now uh let me see let me see how to answer the question how do you talk to companies so that you can get them to sponsor and things like that oh ma- okay basically the offer right now is your community and what you have yeah when i look at your community your community becomes like your trade mm-hmm. for 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 a brand mm-hmm. you know because some brands may be like they're not looking at targeting everyone, but they, you have their target community and you're mm. specific there. You're niched there, bro. So what I get from you is like, say, you say, for example, people are watching our things are like 20 year olds. Mm. They like this kind of thing. Yeah. You can get into that market. Uh huh. Brand can get into that market. Yeah. Man, your community is kind of your currency. Yeah. In a way, because it's look look at it in this way. If let's say, for example, um, the radioactive brand, yeah, and you have like about 1000 people subbed and those 1000 people are like your loyal community guys yeah mm. and they're super loyal you've done your best to make sure you've landed that 1000 figure like those individuals and you're putting out stuff monthly like in the product development side like in the roadmap and at least those 1000 people are buying like every month bro every month those 1000 mm. people are buying something you know that's why i see that trade so right now we should be fighting to build communities because mm. that's what everyone's fighting for in yeah. Web three, I think you know this, bro. Yeah. yeah. Web three, everyone's dr- guys want communities, bro. Discords are becoming full. Like everyone's opening up a Discord. What? You know, because of the community thing. Mm-hmm. But for gaming, why it is because communities have been like one of the blueprints when it comes to gaming. So that's why gaming brands are already like in that space. That's why I tell guys that gaming is one of like the the, the key thought benchmarks for Web three and anything around the future of the internet, even content, man. Like you need to build community. And you guys, are, and I think y- you kind of feel the impact. I don't know how you guys look at it, but I don't know why it's hard. But I feel like you guys have a more you can easily monetize what you're doing in terms of selling something to brands. Mm. Why haven't you guys approached brands? If I may ask, oh, we have. But what do they say? Um, it's either we're not getting what we want from them, uh huh, or they don't feel that they would get what they want from. Do us. they like watch? Like Raymond, have you tried it? Of like course. brands. Just starting. My, my question to you is like, uh, like okay, so how like how would you charge them? Like, would you charge like a monthly basis? For oh, like how do you cost it? Like yeah. How do you how do you pair a community to the money? To what yeah, you yeah. Them? Okay, so if if it's like being paid, I would look at it on. Uh, man, there's so many ways, yeah, because it all goes back to how you negotiate and how you close that deal. But what I've seen most guys do is. You sponsor my team, that means either give us like this lump sum of money to run us for that. You give us a contract that has a figure. Yeah. Let's say a thousand dollars. Yeah. Or like five thousand to make it like super extreme. Mm-hmm. And that contract is lasting this. So then this brand will be like, man, we're giving this money as a one off, not like monthly or anything. Mm. But here, bro, it's it it depends. I haven't seen guys do it. Not like this thing we did with Mountain Dew. Uh, I think it's okay if I share this. They gave us uh the contract was stating an installment at the start, an installment at the end, and that's how that's that's, that's how the payment <laughs> that's how was. The done. Payment. Yeah. That's, that's how the was, was was worked on. So I don't know how the brands would do it, yeah, but it goes back to how you negotiate and that's what you're looking for. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think in like with with the few brands that we've approached right now, I think that there's an issue with the way the agreements are structured. These guys have like a one one size fits all like setup, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. where. If you approach them as a YouTuber or as a this or that, they give you the influencer contract. Because Which is, yeah, yeah, what yeah. they want from you is oh. wild. They're yeah. saying that you they basically like put you in that box and say you yeah. are an influencer. Yeah. But then with every other kind of business, like mm. every contract is unique. Yeah. So my contract can't be the same as yours, you know. Yeah. So I think that's something that like the companies need to get used to with, need to appreciate with that, creators. Yeah. And that will that will require creators to just Approach them asking for different things. Yeah, you know. I think also stepping creators have to step up their game in terms of if they can't do this for themselves, yeah, they need to now know how build their knowledge around business and how like organizations run. You know, you need to really know how a structure is running, who gets to make the decisions, what's the best time to even go in, 
sometimes you can take your your, your proposal in and you know you have to have an idea of the marketing budget and it goes back to this thing of me saying earlier that you need to step out of an industry to grow that industry mm. so if you want to grow a youtube career yeah you can't grow it with fellow youtubers per se i'm not looking at the content side i'm looking at growing it now mm. you need to look at maybe you need to look for someone in marketing and someone up there bro someone who has the connections cuz someone who's like out of that youtube bubble someone was looking at you know those things mm -hmm. you get cuz cuz i see that's that's of course looking in nigeria now where nigeria is fast their gaming brand the ceo the person who invited me she used to work for i think pepsi or something i don't know but she she's now into gaming but she wasn't a gamer mm -hmm. and their brand is growing but what what has enabled that growth and what has enabled her connection to all these other brands to invest to sponsor her her, her, her gaming brand is because she had links to these people and she's a market at heart part of yeah she's like a market at heart mm. you know so those are things that youtubers need to adapt get a marketer in and maybe try and see someone yeah. who knows the stuff like who knows our local market like how companies operate who makes decisions and shit I feel you. Yeah. That makes sense. Kind of know the right people. Yeah. <laughs> the guys need to pay for this jazz, man. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> like on a Patreon or some shit. No, but these are conversations you can have, bro. These are conversations. Because my man, I want to see the great economy boom, you know? Yeah, yeah. You, so like we thrive, o we thrive off this stuff. So do we, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Next. Now I feel like Raymond, I'm still my jazz. Is answered you. Light. Yeah. yeah. In where? Like here or? Yeah, like brand, brand deals. Man, the brandies I've seen here, yeah, like I was now this this deal we did. Most of the influencers, because most of them do under that, they under that influencer cap. They don't make so much. Yep. Yeah, they don't really make so much. If it, the, the figure we made with this partnership with Mountain Dew wasn't super crazy, but it was okay. As I can I can tell you guys of this, but it was okay. It was, it was okay to get some stuff in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This was above a million, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But it was, but it was okay, you know. Good. But why I feel it's easy for them. Because they you know gaming is a big thing, what? So they're driving off that. Yeah, because them, they, like, they, they are, they, the brand is already associated with gaming, gaming abroad. Yeah, so, so it's so super easy. But yeah. now, influencers, is, that's why I'm like, you, but I was telling my pot, man, the influencer term is off, man. I don't know what you guys think about it. Yeah, it's just it's, very. It's, it's so unauthentic to me, bro. Like, I, mean, I think I'd, like it has bad connotations, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> influencer. Like, like no no <laughs> and that's no disrespect to, to like instagram yeah, yeah, yeah. influencers and yeah, yeah, yeah those true, guys true, true. 100%. but i just feel like when you come in calling yourself an influencer you're just telling them that i'm yeah. coming to like in, over what influence <laughs> 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 i'm here to like influence guys to yeah. use your thing yeah. but <laughs> there's no depth in like it, the word influencer to me it sounds like possessor or something like <laughs> like i'm here to like like confuse guys and make yeah. them use your thing. Bro, I don't know, bro. If I see that word in your bio, bro, <laughs> yeah, it's like, like I'm gonna do everything. Bro. Just post guys. <laughs> if I see it in your, your like in your bio, like I'm an influencer, what? Hey, what's my Twitter? Like? Eh? That's your bio. I'm an influencer. Okay, uh, uh, that's boys. wild. Yeah. Uh, number four, tattoos. Pardon? Is that tattoos. a question? Yeah. Tattoos? tattoos. Would you get them? Would you get you a tattoo? Yeah, but no, I'm actually literally planning on the next one. I'm getting. You have one, right? I'm getting one in July. For real? Where? Yeah. Uh, I'm not certain yet, man. Mm. I'm not certain yet, but maybe, maybe this arm. I don't know. Activision told some kid, yeah, some uh, one of the, uh, a top tweet streamer tweeted that if Activision, or oh, it's supposed to do something, if you guys do something, I'm going to get a tattoo, get a tattoo on my on my butt cheek. And Activision did it. And he got that it. Guy got it. <laughs> 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 he literally has it was Raven Software. He has yeah. the company logo. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to yeah, imagine. It's crazy, man. <laughs> That's crazy. You're <laughs> there night. And then you just see Raven Software. <laughs> <bro. laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a software <laughs> company? It's just their yeah. chilling. Yeah. And it's too big. That's bro. Wild, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Never <laughs> Yeah, no, I, but I, I think it was about I think it was about an anti cheat or some shit because because yeah. hackers are more in the gaming mm. space. Mm. Yeah, like was on hackers are nasty. Mm. What so do they be taking? Hmm? What uh, do they take? Okay, yeah. Just know a guy shoots a bullet. What do they take? What do they take? Yeah. Yeah. Like the hackings, like they have like aim bot aim on. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, like every aim. They, they I can see like through walls. Yeah. So if I'm here, there like so the guys that said I can see him through like this. Ah, it's wild. But hacking is the wildest anti cheat. Was are you so eh? Was a bullet that goes through walls that just amused me. <laughs> 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 like, I see you those ends and I shoot. Yeah. And you're at the gate of motive and you die. <laughs> <laughs> hackers, hackers, hackers are crazy. Yeah. But that's one of the biggest issues in gaming. Yeah. Streamers are literally coming out and they're like, man, if it, because it kind of messes up the streamers' careers, yeah? 
Because streamers thrive off gameplay, yeah? But if you're playing a game and a guy is just hunting on you, yeah. yeah. Guys do also like stream sniping. Like if you're playing and I know we're in the same region, I can get are, you. Yeah, you're, you're famous. If you're queuing up in game, I make sure I queue up at the same time with you. Yeah. That's called stream sniping. Uh, and get, it's not allowed. And it's it's it gets to streamers because okay, there's there's no of controlling it for now. Like in yeah. some games, that's why they put like streamer modes whereby. So it's called stream sniping because like I'm tagging on I'm like I'm playing. I'm targeting you like yeah, yeah, I'm coming for you. I'm okay, coming for you. Okay. So so guys, like you can find a whole lobby, bro. For <laughs> <laughs> a whole lobby is on you one man. Guys looking for you. Guys looking for you. And then they make clips. The there clips, are some streamers. TikTok yeah. clips out. Hey where man, you can like killing accidentally you accidentally leak your lobby ID or something like that. Eh. Guys, just yeah, guys <laughs> but streaming isn't safe, man. Guys have been SWAT. You heard of SWATing, yeah? Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. SWAT. Yeah, when yeah. they call the SWAT for you, like SWAT you police, imagine your streaming, house and yeah. they say like there's a terrorist threat in there, so they come fully like ready for war. Which bro. streamer was that? Yeah. There was a streamer who was the DJ Lord, bro. It has happened a few yes. times. So many guys have faced that. Famous streamer. So Bambi, this guy was streaming, and two SWAT guys just entered and covered him. Live, it's crazy, man. Sorting is very crazy. That's why most guys, when you start streaming, you kind of have to go to a don't leak your address and that cheat. You mm. don't take pictures of your home and all that. You kind of hide all that stuff. But once you get uh, Web three, we need to be super careful in terms of how we relate publicly. Because here it's kawa man. No, no, someone get, uh, like dig into your digital life, but man, out there, it's crazy stalking. What? I hear you. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Tattoos, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> the SCS cool. The SCS. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, would you get one? You look like a person would get one, though. I look like a person yeah. would get one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say that. <laughs> um, as of today, April what? Twenty uh, second. Yeah. You're not um, a person. No, I'm not a tattoo guy. Why? You were before. Mm-mm. No, no. Okay. Still, I wasn't, and I'm still not as okay, of today. Okay, April. Yeah. The reason is, man, I have commitment issues, man. Like, I don't know if I like the design tomorrow or next week. Oh yeah, I get you. And it's permanent. Yeah. Unless you're going to go through like a very painful laser removal surgery Just procedure. Course, yeah. yeah, it's pricey and very painful. Yeah. So yeah, that's my only issue with it. Like, I'm just not sure I will like what I have chosen. Mm. Tomorrow, forever, yeah. yeah, yeah. Me, I would say maybe, man. Never say never. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this never know, bro. Eh? Mm. Something <laughs> comes up and. Man, there's so many things to tattoos, you know? So many yeah, things. Yeah, it comes bro. so many things, man. So guys, many things. Guys look at you a certain way, man. And even like our skins, man. Are we really cowed? Like, I've seen guys have them. Because of dark skin. I don't know, yeah. Wait, like, you can't see uh, the tattoo. Skin, like, they think we deserve tattoos. We deserve tattoos. Because it's cancer, what do you mean? No, no, no. no, no what like, I mean, like, will it come out like. It won't look good. Yeah. You see what you see? We see, like, uh, That's what guys say. Yeah, you see, like, a girl, he's, they call them sleeves, eh? Yeah. I mean, you can pull it off, obviously, because it's so dark here, but I don't know. Nah, Would you get okay. one voice? Okay. Bro, I want a sleeve. You have a sleeve, yeah. I, yeah. Have to get I think it will look cool, bro. Yeah. Bro, I have a friend who has a red tattoo. And yeah. it looked so good on uh, her. Red? So on her. Red. Did yeah. you guys see those green tattoos? Guys? Was that just poor quality or? The green one. Uh, hey. I think it's Sometimes. like... I think it's the color some guys choose. <laughs> 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 bro, I no. think uh, uh, <laughs> the green, bro. <laughs> there was some greening greening that I think was just like like a... Like a poor black, yeah, that's our meals. Mm-hmm. But then there's also yeah. like green, 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 green. Yeah. 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 I think you can see a green, green, yeah. but there's a oh green that's the time. Like you get it when it's black and it turns green after a year, man. Not yeah. green, it but will just turn like a lighter shade of black. black, and it stretches if you put on weight. Yeah, yeah. I'm still getting the sleeve, tattoos man. redone really? all the time. I'm still getting the sleeve. Uh-huh. Anyway, number five, would you rather have no electricity or no water? No water. No, no water. electricity. I thought about this too many times. No and water. Nah, I don't <laughs> have no electricity. <laughs> <laughs> when there's no electricity, you guy, like my mood literally shifts. Mm. I don't know if it's because we've just grown up. Like, yeah. bro, bro, my mood shifts. I just become pissed. I haven't been in a crib which doesn't have water, bro. You yeah. have. Okay, water. Beca- uh, bro, you can run, man. Bro, what, <laughs> like water. Bro, what, what does that mean? You have to fit. <laughs> what does that mean, bro? You have to go to a pit. <laughs> <laughs> <tree. laughs> yeah. okay. so where where couple are you going to fit from, bro? Which bro, bro? Nah. <laughs> I've built with no water. It's yeah, easy. I'd rather I'm have water. water. Right. Oh, no water. Yeah. And I give money. me no electricity. Give me no electricity. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then you do what? Hey, what do you do, man? What do you do? After <laughs> you you know, know, okay. What do you do after bathing? <laughs> <laughs> but at least, at least you bathe like. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you bathe no again, electricity. Eh? <laughs> 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 no 
know what? Yeah. Have you ever been in a bathroom and you flash and there's no water? I know it kind of fucks with you. You yeah, turn yeah. on the, the, the you're ready to shower and there's no, no water. water. Okay, yeah. that no water thing is uh, uh, it's fundamental. I guess water is a human right. But yeah, very <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> electricity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see. I see your point, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Electricity is a, is a now thing, bro. Water was man. I mean, the yeah, I have a now guy, bro. You can't have a guy today. No, no, no. Electricity. I won't lie to you. No water. Yeah, no water. Like you can't do it. I no water. need that water, bro. I need water, bro. I need water. Man, I don't know, man. Being a now guy also. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's okay. Water will come back tomorrow. Man. <laughs> <laughs> water may have to ah. go. Bro, there's a carol goes and you're like, ah. nah. There's nothing you know? to do in the world. Yeah, yeah. bro. Bro, you're just yeah, there. Yeah. How are you even just there? Like, I mean, what? yeah, you're bored. That's the issue when there's no car, you're bored. Uh, but when there's no water, bro, it's not like, it's like there's no water, bro. There's what no, are you, you're like, you're smitten. It's not a boredom thing, like. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a life essential thing, bro. There's no water. <laughs> well, okay, we're, not about, we're not talking about like drinking, we're talking about like tap water. Yeah, I'm talking about like water. You like, think water goes in the tap water. You just use water for everything, bro. Like that's drinking, that's like saying, cooking, that's like saying, cleaning the floor, no cleaning your body. Say, like, Cars aren't working. No, man. If, like if, if if you have your jibu, it's kawa. Yeah. But like water in the taps. I'm saying water in the taps. Like Those water, use water for everything, bro. Cooking, drinking, cleaning. Mm. The no, but then there can the be other way. Whatever. I have water in the fridge. I'm not going to bathe it. We said there's no water. I can have a in the inventory. You open up in the morning. You open up in the morning, you want to brush and there's no water. And there's no water. Ah, there's no water. Yeah. Have you guys seen, what, was the, what movie was it where there was, n- where it, there was no electricity? Blackout. It was a series, wasn't it? I, it's called I Blackout. Think it, I think it was. But remember in that movie, the yeah. cars couldn't work. Yeah, the petrol stations Nothing could work. Yeah. 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 Not, not, not that extent. That. Not that ah, extent. Yeah. 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 If there's no water. not allowed to drink. If there's no water, you can't <laughs> so work. Why can't you guys drink? Drink what though? Bro, if there's no water. What I'm saying is, if I'm not allowed to drink water. Eh. How come you guys are allowed to drive cars? No, 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 no. Not that extent. Hey. Just the overtook it. Hey. I'm saying about like cars tap water. Cars. No, I'm saying electricity. Because <laughs> that's electricity too. Cars. Tap water. Yeah. I'm saying like you that's wake up and too. there's no water. There's no you water can't flash. Hey. No, 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 bro. Every day, let, let the water go. Let the water go. Oh, yeah. oh, let okay. the water go, anyway, I guess to each his own. To each his own. Let the water go. Maybe there's no electricity. I'll visit a friend. I'll just call and be like, boss, can I come and charge? Anyway, so when you go for a massage, guy your cheek. Oh my god, bro! Guys, I, I, I went to this thing. I don't mention any, but bro, do you guys have you felt any impact with the massage? Yeah, massages yeah. are nice. Maybe I did a cheap one. Maybe. What do you impact? I think impact. Impactful massage. Like where you feel like, hey, because you know when guys like this feels good. Like yeah, like at least after that, your life has changed. Lucky a way of you, you know. Like you feel you feel feel very relaxed, relaxed now. Changed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I have. Maybe I, have. I paid for a cheap one. I think because man, that way I walked in there. <laughs> 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 that's good. That's masculine. Who's that lotion on him? Bro, that was like six. Experience. Yeah. You know, ever since I was like, these things are a rip off. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, bro, I, I can <laughs> recommend weird. one, bro. I, amazing massages, bro. <laughs> you just walk out of that thing feeling loose, man. Yeah. So okay. Okay. Yeah. really loose. You're good guy. to go. I'm told you, you sh- I think you recommend at least maybe what? Once a week? Or I don't know. Never that, bro. What's expensive. a recommendation? <laughs> <laughs> it it becomes soft, yeah. It's expensive as hell. Bro. No, I'm saying if you can afford it. Um, I'm told it, it helps you, like, you know, like clears your mind. That shit, I don't know, man. Yeah, once a week may, would make sense. It's just, it yeah. feels good, bro. but bro, I'd sleep bro, like that would be budget. like a good room. You've been like this, man. They're, they're, you, I would sleep there, bro. Like spas. That yeah. was my bedroom. Yeah, bro. you I actually can't can the bathroom. <laughs> fall asleep, but I think is the person is like rubbing you, bro. You can feel their hands. And yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, but is women, it weird? Women every day. Women, yeah. No, women. bro, it's not. I don't know man. women. So the ones you've had, n- only women. Only, only women. women. Yeah. Would they had a male experience with Never. <laughs> Just say, no male experience. I don't know. Nah, it depends on the massage. If I'm getting like a medical massage, like I've sprained my arm, I end up my there, bro. Yeah. yeah. But if I'm getting one for just what do you like mean? That's therapy. Okay, well, that's therapy. I need your logic. What's your logic? <laughs> okay, this is my logic. When I actually sprained my arm, I the guy is the guy who like rubbed my arm, uh-huh. but that guy was using force, force yeah. and like, oh. but it wasn't like too much force. Like it, it was you like you want to be violated. <laughs> okay, no, not like that. <laughs> 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 I don't even go that far. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, it too. required a firm grip, grip yeah. to reach the, the 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 tender spot in the arm at the time, which I don't think. I think that was your issue with the lady. Like 
you left the same way you came. She didn't. Man, nothing. You I didn't think feel any. No, but I think that the chicks also have tight grips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Do you think they're well trained? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, they're well trained, bro. Yeah, well trained. Well trained. Melvin. They're really well trained. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're really, they're really well trained. I think I'll go with that chick. Unless they get like therapy, man. Therapy, yeah. you need a. Uh, yeah, you know, that do like yeah. Which therapy? Give her a chick. like phys- uh, yeah, physiotherapy or something. Of like mental therapy. Maybe if it's yeah. the type of physiotherapy where like, like it requires someone with more strength than you, they have to like carry yeah. you up and shit and like <laughs> slap <Carry> you. What therapy is on the body? Not physio, not physio. Where like a guy can't walk anymore, oh, so man. like now he needs to be held up. Or maybe it's like that. But now nah, women every day, man. Women, yeah. Most yeah. nurses are women, so yeah. There's a reason why. I guess. I like yeah. yeah, I guess. Not a, like it's a yeah. Next one. Uh, do you guys use speaker planes? <laughs> I'll let you guys go first. <laughs> speaker <laughs> planes. Nada. I'm told. I don't know. Maybe as Feel my sweater. What's this? Boyfriend. Boyfriend what do you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe as buns. Nothing like that. Maybe as buns. Nothing. Uh, never like with the intention. Nah, like first you know, Jesse, where did you get that pickup line from? It's our Google. Google. Yeah, Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Google. Really? What <laughs> 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 material? Ah. Ah. That is our Rowie. Today at Shoe Clown. This is boyfriend material. Nah. Now I haven't used any. Yeah, pickup lines. I, 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 use them, I use them literally as a joke, mm. like because I, like, I know it's gonna make a laugh. You know, but otherwise, not to like actually. Yeah, pick not up, to yeah. pick her up. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I guess it depends. Um, it depends if there's the different kinds of pickup lines. I guess they're like the corny boyfriend material pickup lines, mm. but then they're like those. Can I say insightful pickup lines? Like you come up with this thing because you're seeing something particular about this person. Then those are used, I guess, like yeah. your eyes are. Well, that's like just vibe. I guess a particular plane is a vibe. Uh, but pickup is like, like a one liner. <laughs> that's that's that shocks the world. I don't know what it has evolved. Are they effective? Too, like, are they effective? I guess magic is there. Nah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, like you don't find me saying boyfriend material this is my shirt. What touch? Are they effective? It? Oh, it's just like for Bantan, yeah, you move on. I think they're effective at making them laugh, mm. which is also good. Which is, good I mean, which is effective yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hmm. Uh, that's wild. Anyway. How about dating a way taller girl, like six five? Uh, 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 Magic uh, is kicking that one off. I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm okay dating a taller girl. Magic is about it. Guys, I have WNBA. no problem with that one. <laughs> this guy, have you guys watched Love, to love and it. Basketball? Yeah. <laughs> Magic is that guy. He <laughs> needs to be the husband. <laughs> Stay yeah. at home. You know? I have died. Yeah. Height. Hey, bro. Tall is, tall is tall, man. Mm. That's your tall. That was one time. I don't know what I mean. Like, I mean... Oh. Taller than this. Yo. <laughs> I mean, it's Kawa. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind you. <laughs> taller than this. No, no, no. no <laughs> guys, relax. <laughs> <laughs> guys, relax. Relax. The tall girls are... <laughs> <laughs> this is taller than this. <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny. Yeah. No, but that's... But height is... I don't know, man. Mm. I, haven't, I haven't thought about him mob shit, but... Maybe it's Kawa. I don't maybe. know. Bro, I'm talking about that like your tiptoeing height to look at her like so. That's a bit savage, man. Bro, you know, I feel like it's easier for tall dudes to date tall girls. Like, even if she's taller than him, he's still tall. Bro, but that's one yeah, When it's, uh, yeah, when you're under six, under six man, feet. it's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. It draws too much attention Bro, to the fact. Oh, man. Yeah, it does, man. Like, you're like walking to a place yeah, that is yeah. like, you know, you're yeah. waiting, she's putting on heels. What? But then if she's if bad know she's as tall, hell. Eh? Okay, if she's bad as hell, then you have no choice. She's like 6'5", but me, I'll be... remember this one time I went to... Hannah mixed. Hannah uh, in school, yeah? Yeah. Mm. But they had a bad head girl, bro. She was bad. I forgot her name. I think she ended up like running for Miss Randa or some shit. Real? Mm-hmm. She Crazy. was bad. But she was tall. She was tall, you <laughs> guy. <guys. laughs> <laughs> 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 I was tall. I, I still I sleep, man, In high school, we were shorter. I sleep, yeah. but yeah. failed. What, what's the issue with dating talker? What's your issue? Oh, we what have no you? issue. Yeah, there's no issue. Just and look like a cheap monk, you get. a preference. Why? I think it's that alpha male mentality, man. You want to be the... I don't know. That's how I think. I think that's what I think it is. I don't think it's that. It's just... It has to be. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what would your grandma say. Your grandma. Say hi. Say hi. That one I have no issue with personally. Like dating a tall girl. A girl who's taller than me. 
I have no issue with that one. I feel like you say that, but I need to see it to believe it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like I need to see Jesse with like a 6'3". Yeah. I need to see him with a 10. I think yeah, yeah, you're yeah. playing, bro. You've seen Kevin Hart and all that. He's a yeah. Bro. No, but now Kevin Hart is also man. He's yeah. like... Yeah, but him. Nah, it's just kind of like. That <laughs> chick isn't like, so tall, by the way. Exactly. That chick is big girls. Hey. That are like big tall. Hey. Just seem like larger than life to me. Imposing figures in the room. Then imposing figures. You want to be oppressed. This guy. This guy. He keeps drawing that one line from everything I see. He's getting deeper. There's some height with Amber. I'm bad. Now there's some I don't know, mm. bro. Mm. Amber seems tall. <laughs> Let me Aquaman, check. She's hey, tall. You seem taller, taller than him. Mm. Mm-hmm. I know, bro. Taller than me in heels is cool, though. In heels is and cool. And even like being my same height is cool. But like, taller So like me, a Victoria's Secret model, you wouldn't date because she's taller than you. Sheesh. That's why I said if she's bad as hills, so you might have no choice. It's out of your hands there. Yeah. 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 But otherwise, man, I'm like, I'm not, I guess I'm not checking for chicks that are taller than there. Yeah. Something's up in by accident, bro. Yeah, listen. Find yourself there. Everyone's a victim. Like that border guy with the shot. Border guy. Well, the uh, guys just call shit guys victims. <laughs> <laughs> Can be a victim of circumstances. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. How do you guys feel about holiday travels? Holiday, like, like Christmas, Easter, like travel. Going to the village. Oh, I didn't tell you guys about my Easter. Yeah, Easter. yeah must tell us. Must Easter tell was us. a blast, man. I saw you riding I think bikes. I saw. Bruh, I rode bikes. My head is been still sunburnt, man. Hey, my face has been peeling, you guys, the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, like when you, go to, when you go to a mirror and wash your face, and then you like part with a, with a katao, and then yeah. you get to it's just like dead skin. Bro. Ah, that's crazy. On the mm. Where were you? Which side? I was in Busheni. I went to Kavale first, and then Busheni. Bro, is it still cold that side? Oh, my God, you guys. Cold as hell. <laughs> the whole day I was in Kavale, I was in my bed. Mm. The whole day. Yeah, Kavale yeah, is cold. Yeah, it was yeah. cold, bro. And it was raining. The same it was raining here, but man, it felt different. Then we went to Bushenyi, and my grandparents live like, they live like in the middle of a tea estate, basically. A what? Tea estate. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. we were riding through the oh, plantations, plantation and, and like, yeah. those plantations are forest, so we're riding through a forest, bro, you would have loved it, you guy. Mm-hmm. Steep Outdoors. slopes. Rocky as hell, bro. It was me with my two, like, younger cousins. Yeah. And those guys have gas, man. Eh. We'd ride down, like, a very steep, rocky slope, so you're scared. But then you have climbed back up that slope. <laughs> 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 Struggle. <laughs> it was tough, man, but it was fun. Yeah. We did that, bro. We went fishing. We just did nigga shit, bro. Played football. Yeah, grass guy, it seems. The grass you, guy? Like, you, you, you're, you're outdoors. Outdoorsy guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, enjoy, I enjoy that stuff, I guess. I enjoy it. <laughs> They're called grass guys. Grass <laughs> guys. <laughs> you see, when yeah, gamers like, are talking yeah, themselves, yeah? yeah. 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 Gamers gamer, gamer, gamer sell themselves, man. Go see grass or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know gamers are locked in there. Ah, Every day, I guess, in the new gym. Go see grass, like, bro. Game game grass guys. Guys. When you see them going for things like Coachella, what? they're like, man, I've touched grass. That's lit. That's lit. That's a gamer term. Yeah. Grass guy. <laughs> okay. Eh? okay, okay, okay. Listen, bro. Thanks so much for coming for this no podcast. Worries, I'm Appreciate crushed that we lost all that, all that uh, footage. footage yeah. But at least we have the audio. Yeah, so I'm yeah, guessing so. most of this podcast will be audio, but it will be worth it, man. Yeah, we and the guys real value, man. I'm very impressed, but I didn't expect this. I thought we were going to talk about video games for nah, an hour nah, 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 and nah, we'll nah. be over. Man. That, that's how I want it to be because you want it to be relatable. The only yeah. reason why gaming is at mainstream is because guys can't relate, man. Yeah. When guys are talking gaming shit, they over geek out and they go. Yeah, you yeah. know, I it gets you. so hard for like a regular guys. To yeah, yeah. that's why most of the content we've been pushing. Yeah, mm-hmm. the content we're kind of trying to push out is not. It's less around like playing the game, mm-hmm. but more around just like that normal lifestyle and about who we are, you know, mm-hmm. and how we vibe and culture in general, you know. Because we're not the only way we're going to do it. How yeah, do you expect yeah. like a person who has no idea? even listen to this if if you want to talk about like twitch and streamers and it gets super they get get super clouded so such a conversation is good and i've seen some of the key the key personalities that are made out in the industry they diversify and not just focus on gaming yeah. so yeah so it's, it's, a, it's a dope thing that's dope man yeah yeah bro so thanks so much for watching guys um i think we're still gonna do our music segment mm. yeah i already yeah. have all the songs queued up so this time, I don't know if we're talking between, man. The last one, we played games and shit in between. <laughs> but this time, we're going to just play the music, and then we'll have, like, gameplay rolling as the music plays, I hope. Yeah, 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 dev. And, uh, I yeah, I'll at the start, and we shall see. Yeah, we'll figure out how to, how to structure <laughs> how to the point. Yeah, yeah. 
But um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, do all of that cool shit. And we will see you guys soon. I guess peace. peace. You ask one. You see them girl a beauty them. Hey, 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 hey. Me and my brody, we still on the road. Switch up the venue and switch up the clothes. Me and my brody, you flow like a boat. Sipping the juice and I get in the zone. Me and my brody, you know where to go. Go. Now we ain't chewing the grass, bro. We smoking the shit, hey. Roll up and smoke it again, hey. The money done came in again. Yeah, the money done came in again. Let's take it back to the time. I had no cash in the pocket. Me and my brody were hustling. Now we off like a rocket. I needed a plan and a strategy. Cause you know these fears be haunting me. Good people, good energy. Cause you never know your enemies. Devis is saying you're proud now. Mama, she telling me, calm down. You gotta study and graduate. Juggling books and rap verses. Crews cruising, they can't race us. Hey, hey, hey. I need me a million a day. Rapping, I'm rapping, I hope that it pays. Thank you to people who show me the way. I'm humble dog, there's nothing to say except me and my brothers, we've been through a lot. All of the pain, I'm making it stop. We gotta shoot, I'm ready to pop. Now give me the zoo, I'm taking the pop. Me and my brody, we still on the road. Switch up the venue and switch up the clothes. Me and my brody, you flow like a boat. Sipping the juice and I get in the zone. Me and my brody, you know where to go. Go, now we ain't chewing the grass, bro. We smoking the shit, ayy. Roll up and smoke it again, ayy. The money done came in again, yeah. The money done came in again, ayy. Y'all better listening nice, cause I never said she twice. Uh -uh. You don't wanna cross me, I'm a little cold fuzzy ice. What? HT roll with glow, I be going with now with the flow. Look fam, this ain't no this thing. I just let it keep money in their toes, and I let it keep cause no foes. Try me and I saw like oh. If man keeps slipping on me, I'ma tuck him and go sit in the dome. If man keeps slipping on me, think you on top and you ain't no drone. Nigga, I'ma ship you down, I'ma put you in the ground, can't get in my zone. Yeah, can't get in my zone. Uh, no, you can't get in my zone. Uh, yeah. This shit bigger than me, yeah. So I got God on the phone, yeah. Mine never grow up, but I swear this year I'm pretty damn close, yeah. I got girls in my section, I ain't fucking no internet hoes. These niggas putting their eyes on, cause I got that hit for show. I see a comedy when they stand up, but nigga, I ain't taking no joke. They wanna be me, I look up to me, but nigga, I ain't no poke. No. Cause I stay moving like an Avalon, Joe White like I'm moving that dope. Me and my brody, we still on the road Switch up the venue and switch up the clothes Me and my brody, you flow like a boat Sipping the juice and I get in the zone Me and my brody, you know where to go, go Now we ain't chewing the grass, bro We smoking the shit, ayy Roll up and smoke it again, ayy The money done came in again, yeah The money done came in again, ayy Something up on 
vibes, I feel the vibes And I'm the eye, you're the only one I'm wanting Feel the vibes, I feel the vibes, yeah I feel the vibes, I feel the vibes And I'm a eye, you're the only one I'm wanting Feel the vibes, I feel the vibes, yeah It's been a while Why is it been shining, yeah? Why is it been shining, yeah? Can't be that bad, you're not even So long ago, I didn't cool up a movie lot. Cut you bit a baby woe. Everywhere me day, all the girl want for woe. Nali woe, pansanga woe. Nali woe, pansanga woe. Devil was busy, so I give them the woe. Put you dance, so we dunda, 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 dunda. I go put you in ka funda, 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 as we dunda, dunda. Pepe pangs, what you look like 24 7 when you move all the man them. For your ring, I go bling it 24 carats, much you love, you go sound like ah, ah, whoa. No so long you gonna link all up, I move it out to Cut you bit a baby woe so, Everywhere me day, all the girl want for woe Nali woe, panzanga woe Nali woe, panzanga woe Devil was busy, so I give them oh the Oh my goodness, you are fine I will never leave your side Oh my goodness, you are fine I'm fine Let me take you a photo Girl, you looking like a motto No so long you gonna link all up a movie lotto Cut you bit a baby woe Everywhere me day, all the girl want for woe Nali woe, panzanga woe Nali woe, panzanga woe Devil was busy, so I give them the woe I want you more than one So long you gonna link all up a movie lotto Cut you bit a baby woe so, Everywhere me day all the girl want for woe Nali woe, panzanga woe Nali woe, panzanga woe Devil was busy so I give them the woe She want speech, but she never wanna need me. Wanna try to go speed, she just want a Lamborghini. But she never wanna see me, baby. Why you wanna leave me? But to try to go speed, but to try to go speed. Money call, she want speech, but she never wanna need me. Wanna try to go speed, she just want a Lamborghini. But she never wanna see me, baby. Why you wanna leave me? But to try to go speed, but to try to go speed. Money call, she want a speech. But she doesn't wanna me. I've been tossing in my sleep. Baby, you've been out of reach. Looking for you, trying to seek. Baby, hiding far from me. Incognito, no EV. Baby, why you trying to leave me? It's 24 hours, girl. I'm looking to spend my days with you. You know, I'm so romantic, girl. I plan so many dates with them. Don't do it often, but this time I'm chasing you. Run. Put boys together, cause I don't want space from you. <laughs> Money call, she wants speech. But she never wanna need me Wanna try to go speed She just want a Lamborghini But she never wanna see me Baby, why you wanna leave me? But to try to go speed But to try to go speed Money cause she wants speech But she never wanna need me Wanna try to go speed She just want a Lamborghini But she never wanna see me Baby, why you wanna leave me? But to try to go speed But to try to go speed I know what you want, I know what you need, but you do not see me, huh? I feel like a fiend, she's cutting me off, and she do not care how I feel. Cause I'm on the scene, she don't like attention, so she can't be with me. What in the street, she got a few, so I gotta believe it's a girl. Big boy with the shit, African is a mix. Light on up before he spits, influenza what I spit. I'm your 
genie make a wish This a jack, not a wish Already splashing with the drip Hello saucy, I'm the dip Money call, she wants speech But she never wanna need me Wanna try to go speed She just want a Lamborghini But she never wanna see me Baby, why you wanna leave me? But to try to go speed But to try to go speed Money call, she wants speech But she never wanna need me Wanna try to go speed She just want a Lamborghini But she never wanna see me Baby, why you wanna leave me? But to try to go speed But to try to go speed Money call, she wants speech But she never wanna need me Wanna try to go speed She just want a Lamborghini But she never wanna see me Baby, why you wanna leave me? But to try to go speed But to try to go speed Cause she wants speech But she never wanna need me Wanna try to go speed She just want a Lamborghini But she never wanna see me Baby why you wanna leave me But to try to go speed But to try to go speed But to try to go speed Battle to all I go speed.